<coughs> all right hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you I hope my voice is coming good and clear um, <coughs> I need some water uh, let us invite our friends and see how this video today will be and good news for Muslims <coughs> you know always when the Muslims they speak to us about their God we notice something very weird about this God and they try their best to defend and when they defend they do hilarious stuff and today we will show you how it works <clears throat> please invite your friends and let me see what we have here <clears throat> All right. One of you will send me this video, which I will show in the screen. From Muhammad Hijab. <clears throat> so let us listen and enjoy the madness and the intelligence of Mr. Muhammad Hijab. And by the way, this is coming from a channel that's called S Big Boy. So we give them credit for this video. And this is video <clears throat> to refute what Muhammad Hijabi said. We cannot play it all of it. We'll play some of it so we can laugh together. <clears throat> you can't have three gods with a small G or big G, whether they are, whether they are persons or not. Now, obviously, they'll come to me and say, we don't believe in three gods. I say to them, and this is the point I made. I, I looked at their works. I looked at the works of William Lane Craig. I've looked at the works of Paul Copeland. I looked at the works of the, the guys that he takes as philosophical authorities. And all of them had the same argument. I realized this social proletarianism. Let me put it forward. Let me put an argument. And let's see how he reacts to the argument. He is qualified, fully qualified to answer these questions. And little to my and to my dismay, all that he could put forward was an, an, an attempt to attack me. I mean, six, and, you know, and then they make these shows. I can't even watch them. I'm in Turkey, I'm in Ghana, and these countries with aliens. All right, all right. So he said that he is confirmed that the Christians believe in three gods. Hmm. Go argument. I said, how can you have three almighties? I told them the Quranic argument. The Christians believe in three almighty. I told them, you cannot have a three almighty. Let us get him busted from the Quran. Obviously, either you is the stupid or your God. Because your God in the Quran, he said, the Christians don't believe in three almighty. So are you making fun of your God again? Yes, Muhammad Hijab, he did it. When you say that you believe that the Christians believe in three gods, three almighty and everybody heard you. And then your God, he says that this is not a true. That's mean you are accusing your God to be a false person. You see, when the Muslims, when the Muslims, they try to defend their God. They always, they always, they get themselves busted. In Arabic, it says in the front of us, وَلَا تَقُولُوا ثَلَاثًا تَهُوا Which means, don't say that there are three, in one don't say that they are three in one and as you see here muhammad muhammad here he got the quran proving to us that muhammad hijab he understand the trinity better than his fucking god nigger, fucking nigger, fucking nigger. okay thank you very much this is proving to us what islam is about <laughs> 
All right. You will see here that uh, in this verse, the Quran mentioned the Trinity of the Christians. What is the Trinity of the Christians? Allah and Mary and Isa. And here we need to ask Muhammad Hijab, how long, how come you, in your theory, that the Christians believe in God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, are the three gods, but your God, Allah, he, he believe that God, God the Son, God the Spirit, God, sorry, God Mary, and God Allah, three are one. You know, in different verse in the Quran, just to confirm that, in different verse in the Quran, Allah, he make it more clear. He says, that the Christians believe that the Messiah, he is Allah himself, is not the second one. Which means Muhammad Hijab, and he mentioned that in two verses in the Quran, chapter 5, verse number 17, and chapter 5, verse number 72. So Muhammad Hijab, again, he got his God busted because obviously the God of Islam, he don't understand the trinity of the Christians today. Because Muhammad Hijab, he just said that the Christian believe in three almighty gods. <clears throat> now we believe that God is one. What we believe that God is the three in the three person. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. But look what the Quran is saying. The Quran says that those who do say that the Messiah is Allah, they do blasphemy. So you need to educate your God because he is a stupid. He do not know what the Trinity is. For the Christians, they don't say that the Messiah is Allah. They don't say that the Messiah is the Father. We say that God, he in a three person, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Your God, he confirmed that Muhammad Hijab is a liar. And he have a wrong understanding which is a true Christianity or let us say the Christianity which Allah he understand is So now we have two understanding for the Trinity Muhammad hijab and under, understanding and Allah understanding so we want Muhammad hijab to explain how his God Allah got you know Christianity wrong How Allah He believe That the Christian believe that the Messiah he himself is Allah and Allah, He Himself, is the Messiah. Is that what really the Trinity says? You just say to us that the Christians believe in three Almighty God, which is stupid of you to say, by the way, because we don't believe in three Almighty God, we believe in one God. Same time, you will notice here the Quran keeps saying the word Mary. Mary, each time we speak about worshiping God, he keeps saying Mary. Why? Because the Quran believe or teach that the Christians worship Mary as God. In different verse in the Quran, Muhammad, he came with this funny argument. He said that Allah asked Jesus, <clears throat> Jesus said, Allah, he said to Jesus, did you ask your people to, will, to worship you instead of Allah and your mother? <clears throat> uh, let us see. This website is frozen for some reason. Right now, <clears throat> refresh the page. Okay, all right. Uh, if we go in the Quran, we will find the following verse, which is proving to us that the God of Islam did not know what is the Trinity, and he never heard of the Trinity from anyone who is a Christian. You will see that Allah says to Jesus supposedly and this is in chapter 5 verse I think uh, uh, verse 116 
let us go there five yeah and behold Allah by the way it doesn't say will say he said it call Allah ya Isa. he said in the past oh Jesus son of Mary this though say into man or to men worship me and my mother as gods look how we strip in the Quran one verse saying that the Christians they believe that the Messiah is Allah in different verse Muhammad God he says that Allah is investigating Jesus saying did you say worship me and my mother as gods so now we have no Trinity we have only the Messiah and his mother as God because the other verse confirm that the Messiah is Allah himself in case you forgot the verse we showed you just a second ago let us go back there <clears throat> Do you see it? In a blasphemy indeed are those who say that Allah is the Christ, the son of Mary. So the Quran in one verse, in chapter 5, verse number 17, says that those who say such a thing, they are kuffar. So now what is confirmed to us that the Messiah and Allah is one. And this is the belief of the Christians as Allah described it. In the other verse, we see something a little bit different. And behold, Allah will say, O Jesus, son of Mary, did you say unto men, worship me and my mother? So now the Trinity is not a Trinity, it's a twin. So you need to educate your God about his stupidity because both of you, you don't understand the Trinity. According to you, there are three almighty God. According to Allah, there are two. So which one of you is the stupid one? And here we need to ask a question. Let us say, let us assume that Muhammad Hijab is more educated than Allah. Then how Allah can be God? How Allah cannot understand the Trinity and he say there's a, there's a twin God. There's Mary and Jesus. As you see, Jesus himself is Allah and Mary is God too. So obviously, from this we prove that Muhammad, he cannot be a prophet and Allah cannot be God because how he could not understand what the Trinity is about. How in one verse says, don't say three, and now he is mentioning two. Mary and Jesus, and Jesus himself is Allah, as we showed you in the other verse. So we notice here that the one who made the Quran, he have no idea what Trinity is about, and he involved Mary as one of the three, and he made them two. Now, if we continue with the video with Muhammad Hijab, we will see and hear more, more poo, poo Where is the video? Let us go. See, they'll come to me and say, we don't believe in three gods. I say to them, and this is the point I made. I, I looked at their works. I looked at the works of William Lane Craig. I've looked at the works of Paul Copen. I looked at the works of the, the guys that he takes as philosophical authorities. And all of them had the same argument. I realized this social proletarianism. Let me put it forward. Let me put an argument. And let's see how he re reacts to the argument. He is qualified, fully qualified to answer these questions. And little to my, and to my dismay, all that he could put forward was and, and an attempt to attack me. I mean, six, and, you know, and then they make these shows. I can't even watch them. I'm in Turkey. I'm in. My friend, what attempt? We humiliated you. We got you busted. We have tons of videos. You are the one who exposed Islam. You are the one who said for 4,000 years, no single rabbi, Jew, worship any God beside God, which means you expose your prophet to be a false prophet. Isn't it the Quran, Abdul? says that Allah said that the Jews worship Uzair to be the son of Allah. So how you say for, you say attempt, what attempt? I challenge any Muslim to believe and to accept what you said that for 4,000 years, not a single Jew worship any God beside God. What attempt?
who is a Muslim agree with this guy when he said for 4,000 years which means since the time of Moses until now no not a single rabbi single Jew believe in other God beside God well I agree with you but the Quran says the opposite which means you were saying the truth about the Jews don't worship other God we don't and even the Christian we don't worship second God and third God but look what your God said your God said that the Jews they say that Uzair is the son of Allah the Muslim they say to us oh one of the Jews he said that no it doesn't say that it says the Jews are you stupid or what the Quran say the word the Jews not a Jew they try to put eyeliner in it to cover the shame so when you say for 4,000 years not a single Jew believe in other God beside God you just prove that the Quran is a corrupt false book because this is a contradiction for what the Quran says and not only that not only the Jews they believe in someone his name is Uzair to be son of Allah but we cannot find the name Uzair in the whole Torah who is Uzair we cannot find one person the Jews they worship to be the son of God which is Allah his name is Uzair which is additional proof that Islam is a fabrication of a false man then in the same chapter chapter 9 verse number 31 the God of Islam he don't stop doing poo, -poo. he continues saying not only they worship Uzair and the Messiah as God no they took their priest and their rabbis as God so when you say to us literally and everybody can go and listen to the debate you said for 4,000 years not a single rabbi not a single rabbi you just get your prophet busted so now you Muslims either you have to admit that Muhammad hijab is a big fat liar exposing humiliating his prophet by lying about what the Quran is saying claiming that the Quran is a stupid book because for 4,000 years according to him not a single rabbi worship another God before beside beside God or you have to agree with the Quran or you have to agree with, with him which one is the one is your guidance so this guy he says for six six weeks they could not answer me we are making fun of you gonna stop 4,000 years not a single rabbi worship a God beside God and he said he why as not even a single rabbi for 4,000 years you know when he shake his head right he for 4,000 years not a single rabbi 4,000 years where well, you just got your prophet busted and now it is red his his, his bum is red for 4,000 years because you're a prophet he said different story so either you are a liar or Allah is a liar and which mean will be Muhammad liar thank you very much now let us continue with Muhammad hijab hilarious answer <laughs> Ghana and these countries with Ali and I see every other day that they're putting up a Muhammad hijab says the man God and they, come on I mean, and then they say oh God has parts that's the other thing they say. They say, oh, you know, Muhammad Hijab says there's no scholar that says God has I don't even know. I don't even watch their videos. But I would like to know from the mainstream who says Allah is Hijazat. Allah does not have parts. I stick by them. I stick by that. Allah does not have parts. Now let us look. Let us laugh at this committee. We just heard this guy saying that Allah, he does not have parts. Okay. So when the Quran says and the Hadith says that Allah is going to show his shin, that is not his part. When the Hadith says that we will see Allah and we will see his shin, that is not a part. Hold on carefully. He just said, Allah does not have parts. Now we'll show you how stupid that is. Let us go here. <clears throat> All right.
First of all, you will see that this is a correct hadith from Sahih al-Bukhari confirming that Allah, he have shape and he changed his shape. So let us assume that Mr. Muhammad Hijab, he is saying the truth that Allah does not have a part and Allah will change his shape. So now we have two shape and they are not part. They are two separated shape. Shape number one, read with me carefully. Then the Almighty will come to them in a shape other than the one which they know or they saw first time. And this is here is a big fat lie. Muhammad never saw Allah. So how Muhammad, he says, the one they saw first time. When the Muslims saw Allah first time. This is a pupu Muhammad he just did the same as Muhammad hijab and then you will notice when Allah he come to them in this shape The Muslims they will reject him He come to them in a shape which other than the one they knew first time or so first time and they will he will say I am Allah They will say to him you are not our God So the Muslims they will spank Allah and they will refuse him to be God just because he changed nothing but his shape. So what is the problem now for Allah to be rejected? Is not that he is a change in as a person as much as he changed as a shape. That's proven to us that Allah is a changeable. Allah is flexible. He can take many form, many shape. Otherwise, what do you mean that Allah, he come to them in a shape other than the one they saw first time? And here we notice that the Muslims, they have a big problem. They refuse that Allah to be the same as anything we know. But they have no problem that Allah have a shape which nothing of what we know, but we saw. And this is stupid because if we saw it first time, it's mean we know already. This guy, he claimed that he is a, like he's trying to be a philosopher. By the way, philosophy is against Islam. You can search right now and you will see philosophy is haram. Why philosophy is haram? Because that will lead you to leave Islam. The second you became a philosopher, you will become like Ibn Khaldun, who start making big, big impact on the Islamic society, making Muslims leave Islam. So Allah changed his shape. And now we ask ourselves, when Allah, he changed his shape from shape number A to shape number B, what is the point? Hide and seek. Allah is a plain hide and seek with the Muslims. He come to them in other shape. Let me see. Okay, now I'm going to change my shape. Halloween day. And I will see what the Muslim will say about me. Okay, so I go now and I, I am your Lord. The Muslim, they say, what? What the heck? Who are you, man? Get out of here. You cannot be our God because this is not the shape of God. So you just convince me that you Muslims, you are capable of refusing God himself, which is your God, supposedly, just because he changed his shape. Is that what you did to Jesus? Is that exactly what you did to Jesus? You don't like his shape? So you say we seek refuge from Allah, from you, which means you believe that Allah now is a devil? Don't call me. Don't call me if you are a Christian. No Christian will call. No Christian will call. If you call me and you are Christian, I will block you. Only Muslims, specifically Muhammad Hijab, the coward. So here you notice. Allah will come back again. And then he will come in a shape which they know. And what is that shape? Guess what? The shin. Do you know any sign by which we can recognize him? They say the shin. Remember the whole hadith is speaking about what? Allah, we will see him physically with our own eyes, with our naked eyes, and speaking about shape of Allah. And then how we will recognize Allah? We recognize Allah by his shin. Do you see it? This is not my translation. And by the way, this is coming from the Quran. Now, let us go back a little bit 
with Muhammad hijab so we can love. I, well, I said in the debate, no one in the history except for the Kiramiya, some group of the anthropomorphists which were, which were, which were basically excommunicated by, the, by, the, by almost every other uh, people. Yes, they said uh, they anthropomorphized uh, Mujassima. They did the seem of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They anthropomorphized him. Yes, and then they were excommunicated from Islam as a result of such tafsim or such anthropomorphism. But apart from th those individuals, I'm talking about who we represent, who are the bulk of the Muslims in feudal form. They're either Ash'ari or Athari or Maturidi. That's the three. You're not going to get any, yani, you could get something else. You could even bring a Shia group. They didn't say this. Shias didn't say this. We have to be honest. They, the Shias didn't say that Allah has parts. The Ash'ari didn't say this. The Maturidi didn't say this. The Athari did not say this. Yes, the Athari did not say no Athari in the face of the earth. I said the, uh, the Allah has parts, literal parts. I would like to know one Athari who has ever said one Athari, meaning someone who follows the Madhab or the Manhaj of the Salaf uh, or the Hanabila, the Hanbalis, someone who follows this spiritual form of uh, thought that says Allah Yatajazza. I just want to see one person. Look what he's saying, Allah Yatajazza, which means Allah became pieces. This is a very stupid argument because nobody says to you that Allah became pieces. You are stupid and you are being stupid and you are trying to be stupid to avoid the problem. We are not speaking about Allah being became pieces. We are speaking about Allah having parts, which mean they are connected to him. But now you are the one who made it pieces. Because when you say to me, Allah does not have parts, but he has hands, that means Allah is just a hand. All of him is a hand. Because either the hand is part of bigger body, connected to it, or it is independent by itself. If we go right now, and search in YouTube for the scholars who they are speaking about Allah having parts. Let us see what they will say. And he said he never heard. Never heard. Okay, let's analyze what he just said. He never heard. Okay. I will put the video for you on the screen in a second. पहले हदीस कहते हैं ये कहते हैं कि अल्लाह का जिस्म है अर्श के ऊपर कुर्सी है कुर्सी पर अल्लाह बैठा हुआ है माज अल्लाह और इस गाइस जस्ट वेट ही इज नॉट स्पीकिंग इन इंग्लिश वी वांट समबडी स्पीक इन इंग्लिश प्लीज ज़ाकिर नहीं एंड इन द साइड ऑफ़ अल्लाह एंड देर इज़ अ सेइंग दैट ऑन द लास्ट डे ऑन द डे so how do we refute that allegation? People say that the Quran itself gives a form to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The brother asked the question that how do you refute the anthropomorphism philosophy, which Islam doesn't believe in, but how does Islam talk about Allah has got hands and the day of judgment you see Allah. Basically, you understand what is the meaning of anthropomorphism. Anthropomorphism means Almighty God himself coming in different forms and taking those forms that you know about. So for example, for a human being, a human being will think about a human being. An animal will think about an animal. So for the animal, it's an animal. But because he's God coming in the form of animal for an animal, even the human being should respect that animal God. So that's how we have gods in all types of forms. What you can imagine, what you can think. So therefore, we say that Islam doesn't believe in anthropomorphism. The basic philosophy of the anthropomorphism, it is that Almighty God is so superior, He's so holy, He's so pious, He does not know the shortcomings of the human beings. Anthropomorphism for the human being I'm talking about. So the human being says that He's so holy, He's so pure, He does not know how the human being feels when he's hurt, when he's in problem, when he's in trouble. So Almighty God becomes a human being to know what is good or what is bad for the human being. My friend, this is uh, uh, Zaykar Naik trying to explain something and they look how God he wants to be a human being so he can see what is good and bad and be, who's believing that? If he's God, he knows everything already. What are you talking about? Who's the one believing that? But anyway, he just said very important thing. He said that you cannot believe that Allah 
or God he come in a form but we just showed you the hadith where Allah he come in a shape which is a form physical shape and how we will recognize him we recognize him from his shin now when I want to move the video to see how Allah he have hands let us see it is the glorious Quran no, for a VCR I had an instruction manual that if you want to play the video cassette insert the video I go to the topic man. don't drop it from a height it will get damaged don't immerse in water it will get spoiled I write an instruction manual. Similarly, for the human beings, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator. And the best instruction manual for the human beings, as I mentioned earlier, it is the glorious Quran. Hmm. The do's and don'ts for human beings mentioned here. Hmm. Now, after giving this argument, our brother rightly said that some people may misunderstand and say, okay, Allah has got hands, Allah has got form. So isn't it going against the argument? The answer is given in Surah Shura, chapter number 42, verse number 11, that there's nothing whatever like him means like Allah there's nothing he hears and he sees but he doesn't see and hear like you and me Allah says in the Quran chapter 112 verse number 4 there's nothing like him so Allah he sees but he don't see like me and you you let us see if this is true let us get this Abdul busted shall we if we go to here we will find that Muhammad he said the following you don't see like me and you are you saying that Allah don't have eyes <laughs> read carefully your God is not one blind eye your God Allah have a perfect two eyes all those hadith are Sahih Sahih al-Bukhari Sahih Muslim so all of them Allah is not one eyed and your prophet is comparing him to a man not the opposite you said we cannot compare Allah to a man but here we go your prophet comparing a, a, a Muhammad a, a God to, to, to a man in different hadith Muhammad he says he described Allah as a short man and the only difference between him and the false Messiah is one eye And this is Sahih Hadith. Do you see it? Sahih. So look what it says with me. The Prophet, he said, I told you so much about the Jal Antichrist, and I am afraid that I am. you might not understand. The Antichrist is short, hinted, woolly haired, one eyed, and eye sightless, and neither protruding nor deep seated. And if you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one eyed. Now, Muhammad is comparing between a man who is the false Messiah and a God who is Allah. And the only difference between them, between the height and the color of the hair and how it is and the fat and how, how big his, his ass, the only difference between them is just the eye. And the guy, he just said to us, well, Allah, he see, but he doesn't see like us. Well, he have eyes, Abdul. The second you see he have eyes, it's mean he have eyes. And this is what eyes do. The mosquito have eyes too. They don't see like us. They see differently. The dogs, they have eyes too. They don't see like us. They see differently. Like they don't have color as an example. But doesn't change anything that they have eyes. So they try to fabricate stories without answering. And actually, uh, uh, this guy himself in different different place, uh, uh, Zach and Nick, let me see if I can find the hadith where it's, uh, uh, he speak shorter than this. He make it clear. There, we will crave to see the voice of Allah. A prophet said, the face of Allah, we'd like to see. So Allah has a body, but not like you and mine. Guys, did he say, did he just say Allah has a body, not like you and mine? Did he say Allah has a body? Did you hear him saying Allah has a body? But not like mine and yours. Who care? Allah has a body. Listen carefully again. The face of Allah we'd like to see. So Allah has a body, but not like you and mine. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Shura, chapter 42, verse number 11. There's nothing whatever like Allah. He hears and sees. But he doesn't hear like you and me. For you and me require ear to hear. Mm. Allah, how he hears? Allah, Allah. Yeah, Allah hears from his ass. He don't need ears. He sees. We require eyes to see. Allah, how does he see? Allah, Allah. I get you busted because your prophet, he says, Allah is not our. He have two eyes. So he see by eyes. No, don't say we don't. Allah, Allah. So Allah, 
is there? Yes. He has a form. How it is? Allah Alam. Allah He has a hand? Yes, Quran says that. He has a hand? Yes, Quran says that. Muhammad Hijab, he said, Allah does not have a part, which means now we have, we confirm that Allah have a body and he have eyes and he have a hand. So if those are not part of Allah, that means Allah, all of him is just a hand. You see, if you refuse to accept that Allah have a hand, regarding a second question, you cannot. Because here we go, all your scholars, they say that. You claim to be, that. are you are you a person who knows more than Muhammad? Brother? No, no, more than Zakir Naik, brother? Before we begin the question and answer session, I'll give you the rules of the question and answer session. We'll take the first question from the brothers. Oh, this guy is annoying. I don't want to hear him. Let us see here. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to you all my brothers and sisters and brother Imran and your family. Go ahead, man. Are you going to say hello to all your neighbors too? That's true. Alhamdulillah. Mashallah. Oh boy. My name is Sayyid Yunus as a professional. Question to the brother Imran. In your last talk, you say, brother has uh, Allah has a hand and leg. How could you prove from Quran that God has hand and leg, uh, eyes and nose like human? Like body parts. Can you please prove that? Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Bhai, ne sawal kiya hai. Ye maine apni ek takrir mein bataya ki Allah Taala ko haath hai, paao hai, aankh hai. What is that? Aapne ek hissa sahi kaha. Uska dusra hissa apne galat. Oh boy. Zumar ki ayat ab. We thought this. Is, the question is English. The answer is in uh, in uh, in. in uh... <laughs> it's like human hand. Allah said he have hands. What can I say? Allah has hands. What I can say? I mean, guys, the, come on. Allah said he have hands. Allah, he said he have hands. Muhammad Hijab, he said Allah don't have parts. Show me one person, he said Allah have parts. No. When we say part, we are not saying that Allah, he cut his hand and put it in the shelf, you idiot. People are laughing at you. We are not talking about parts. They are, slatters, they are flying in the space. We are talking about part of him. I have a part. My hand is a part of me, you idiot. You are a certified donkey who tried to defend your stupidity in the debate when you said, who said that Allah has parts? So you are saying to me, there's nobody said that Allah, that jazza. Who, know, who said that Allah jazza, which means it's divided? This is stupid of you. This is just a trying to deceive, to say you did not do it. You did it and the smell is all over and it was big. Do you see how your scholars get you busted? Listen carefully. Translation here, we use the word hands because Allah also yeah, talk about himself. Yad Allah fauqa uh, The hand of Allah is above their hands. But how do the hand of Allah look like? Don't imagine. Please, brother. Please, brother, don't imagine. Please, please. It's forbidden to imagine. I mean, this is the stupidity of Islam. As long as you admitted that Allah, he have a hand, it's, it, is, it is what hand do. When you call it a hand, it means something we hold with, we grab with. This is why it's called a hand. As simple as that. Who care how it look like? Don't ask, brother. Don't ask. So when this Hajubi boy he said that Allah don't have part. He just agreed that Allah, all of him is just a hand because this is not a part. This is him. He is a hand. Allah has no part, but he have a hand. How we can solve this problem now? The only way we can solve it, according to Muhammad Hijab, to agree that Allah, all of him is just a hand with five fingers. Do you see how stupid this answer is? Let us see another scholar, brother. A brother. I mean, they are endless. Explain to us how Allah looked like. Let us go here. Something more funny. Allah has a leg. Has a, has a leg. Okay, explain to us. Oh, this is... We don't want that. Allah has a friend. You're confusing us, sister. Yeah, how'd you go, Nazri? Patience, inshallah, is after. 
when I go again, Nazri, fire fell into an argument. Paradise, or hellfire said first, that I have been privileged. I only receive the arrogant and the tyrant. It's showing off. It's showing off. This is hellfire. It's been privileged that it only receives the arrogant and the tyrant. Well, paradise said, what is the matter with me? Why do I only receive the weak and the humble? Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to paradise, you are my mercy, which I bestow on whoever I please amongst my creation. And he said to hellfire, you are my means of punishment, whom I punish anyone from amongst my creation. And both of you will be fueled. So he will create a new creation for paradise. But hellfire will need more and more and more. It will say, as the Quran mentions, Surah Qaf, verse 30. The day we say to hellfire, are you full? It says, no. Is there more? I want more. Then Allah Ta'ala places his foot in hellfire. His beautiful, magnificent, excellent foot. His beautiful, magnificent, beautiful foot. Please, please, um, Abdul, don't get excited. Okay, keep your panty on. Did you hear that this guy, Allah, he said Allah will put his beautiful, magnificent foot? Muhammad Hijab, he said to Allah, he said to us, Allah has not no part. So if according to him, the understanding of having a part, that he don't have a foot, that he is lying. If he knew that Allah has a foot, and yet he tried to play games saying Allah does not have a part. That's mean he's lying too. If he's trying to say that Allah is divided, which means his leg is separated, that's mean he is deceiving us again too. Because nobody says that we believe that Allah or the Muslim believe that Allah have a divided leg which walk by itself by beside Allah. We did not say that. So look how they try to deceive you when they answer. Not a single Muslim believe that Allah is a jazza, which means he became divided parts. This is not what we said. We said to you that Allah has parts, which means he has hands. But his hand is attached to where? You tell me. His ass, his shoulder. And by the way, Allah have two hands in the right side of him. Have you ever heard of a God like this before? God, he have a hand and the both hands are attached to his right shoulder. If we go in the Quran, in the Hadith, it says, That both of Allah's hands are right hands. Do you see it? Both are his hands, they are in the right side. Which means Allah, not only he have parts, but he have a defect in his shape. Have you ever heard of somebody he have two hands in the right side? So what he have in the left side? Nothing. If Allah he saw Christian Prince in the left side, he cannot he cannot grab me. He cannot he cannot catch me because all his hands in the right side. I will stand next to Allah in his left side and spank him. What Allah can do about it? Nothing because both his hands in the right side. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? So not only Allah, he have parts, he have funny parts. Two hands in the right side. Why you need two hands in the right side? Ah, Allah, he walk right side. He don't go in the left. He go only in the right. He don't go straight. You, you see the point? His hand right away in the right side. So it look like Allah, his face, his eyes in the right, and he don't go forward or backward or left side. He go always right side. How funny, how silly. Let us continue with this madness and how they lie. And then Hofoya says, Katun, Katun, enough, enough. Again, what is our belief in this? Do you understand this? Our belief is that we do not do any of 
these things. Yeah. And inshallah. Let us see. Allah have hands. Allah Ta'ala has a foot. Does he not? Is there any proof for that? Hmm? Which is? We got that already. Let us see. Allah has fingers. Allah has fingers. Where is the same guy? Uh, hold on. Um, I'm just trying to find you. Okay, let's see, maybe here. Oh. Hello? Yes. Yes, uh, are you a Muslim, my friend? Yes. Okay. Remember what? me? I, I don't remember Muslims. I spoke to thousands and thousands. What do you think about Allah have hands and legs and foot and eyes? And My fingers? friend, I was I was calling you uh, yesterday. Hmm. So what do you want to say to us about the topic? We have a topic. Yes. Hmm. What, do you, what do you think? What's wrong with Allah having hands and fingers? So wh why some of you would say that Allah don't have parts if you have fingers and you have legs? Why Muslims, no, uh, why Muslims they lie? Is the hand of Allah is a part of Allah or it's not a part of Allah? It's a, it's a part of Allah. Okay, so why Muhammad Hijab, he lie and he says it is not part of Allah? I don't know. I don't see the problem with Allah having hands and fingers. No, my friend, you, your brother here, he said, let me let me play for you what he said. Go ahead. Let me Give me a second, please. Your, your brother here is the one who said to us that Allah does not have parts. So, and you are saying to me, no, Allah has parts. So who, why the Muslims, why why some Muslims, they say something and some Muslims say the opposite. Listen carefully. The Ash'ari didn't say this. The Maturini didn't say this. The Asari did not say this. Yes, the Asari did not say No Asari in the face of the earth. I said the, uh, the Allah has parts. Literal parts. You see, nobody says that Allah has parts. But you just said to me that Allah has parts. And you say, what the problem with that? So why this Muslim is lying, my friend? Maybe because he's, um, in, maybe because he thinks it's embarrassing that Allah has hands. But I don't see the problem. Okay, so you think he is see it as something embarrassing, but for you this is not embarrassing, correct? Oh yes. Okay, so he's practicing taqiyya. He's trying to lie. Yes. Okay. So what do you say to your your brother in Islam about about his lie about Allah? Don't you think he is now insulting Allah by saying that? Yes. Okay. And why he th you think he is doing that? I don't know. Maybe maybe I don't think he's actually lying that. I don't think he thinks that Allah has hands. I, no, he knew. No, he is just saying that Allah don't have parts. He he don't he doesn't deny that Allah have hands, but he say Allah don't uh, have parts. But but you, I just asked you: Is the hand of Allah is part of Allah or not? You said yes, right? Yes. Okay. So why he is lying to us says no way or nobody in between the Muslim believe that Allah have hands or sorry have parts, and you just admitted and you said agreed. Now let me ask you. Yes. When the Quran says, when Allah He says that um, uh, uh, Allah He have hands, what He would do with His hand? Creating. Creating. So He used them, right? Yes. Okay. Is it true that it says that we created Adam by our hands? Uh, yes. Okay. So Allah He have to use His hands in order to create Adam, correct? He doesn't have to. So why he use them then? Why he need them? If he do not need the hands, so what the hand? Why he have the hands if he don't need them? I don't know, man. That's that. That's just how Allah is. He. No, you're. It's hard to explain. You see, did Allah did Allah created anything without using his hands, or his mouth, or his, uh, or his fingers, or his? You know, did he create anything without using his parts? Um. Actually, we are created without his hands. So. Yeah, so Allah He uses His hands. On us, no. Sorry. On us, no. What? We are uh, created from the sperm. From oh yeah, yeah. The, because yeah, I agree with you. Because supposedly we are reproduction, but uh, the, I mean the first creation of Allah. Because after that He did not create. He created one uh, uh, supposedly two chicken, and since then the chicken they having eggs, correct? 
Yes. Okay. But he created everything by his two by his, by his two hands. Yes. Okay. So the two hands of Allah are they separated from Allah or they are part of Allah? They are part of Allah. They are not separated by themselves. No. Okay. You as a Muslim, you believe that Allah have a foot, have a shin, have a hand. He have eyes, and he yes. and he have uh, uh, and uh, uh, he used those parts, right? Yes. Okay. Now, as long well, as well, he... actually, actually, he doesn't actually have to use them because it says Allah is all hearing and seeing, but he doesn't actually use his eyes, or he doesn't use his ears to actually hear or see. But why he have eyes if he don't need eyes to hear? Because uh, on day of judgment, or something like that, or when he talks to a person, or you know, he but, sees. Okay. But do you know the hadith where it says that Allah He come down every third part of the night, so He heard the yes. Muslims. Okay, why He come down if He do not if He do not need hearing to hear, if He can hear us from any place? Why He need to come down? So He we can you know He we can speak to Him and He can hear us. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why He comes down. Maybe because He just says, "Which dua can I accept?" Oh. Huh. But no, it says there, my friend, that Allah He come down every third part of the night asking the believers who is who is praying for me, so I can yeah. answer him, right? Yeah. So this is the reason. The reason is he want to know who is praying to him. That's mean Allah yeah. do not know who is praying to him unless he go down every night, that, correct? That's that, that's actually not how Allah works. It's hard to explain to to you how Allah actually is, but okay. that's just how Allah is. Okay, but, but when, when Allah, when Allah, he says that Allah, he come down every night. Is it, yes. is it Allah, he explained himself better than you and me? No. No? I mean, don't, don't Allah know himself? You need, you need. Yes, okay. he knows. So when, when, when Allah, he says, Allah, he says that he come down every third part of the night and he asks yes. the believers who is praying for me. When you say he come down, Allah come down from where to where? Yeah, but that's actually the same thing as saying, or uh, at the time of Iblis, when Iblis uh, betrayed Allah, Ib Allah knew Iblis betrayed him on say, on say such things, but hmm. he doesn't actually re uh, use it, you know? Hmm. He actually waits in front of uh, This is not a question, Iblis my friend. This, this, this is not a question. Allah is coming down every night. Coming yeah, down. Is, same, is, it, is, it, is it literally it's, coming down it's or metaphorical? Same. Yeah, but it's a uh, it's a uh, real thing. But real it's thing. actually the okay. same situation of Allah knowing that Iblis would betray him. This is not a question. When... This is not a question. This is not a question. It's the what, same thing. What, no, no. Hold on. What is the point of Allah moving from point A to point B? And when Allah He moved from heaven number one or heaven number seven to heaven number one, is He going through the heaven? No, that's I actually explained it. What do you mean? Like. It says when he Allah, go down. It says he go down. Okay, let us let us make a picture here in front of us. And you help me with this picture, please. Do you see my uh, my uh, my YouTube? Wait. Let me know if you see my YouTube, please. Yeah, go ahead. All right. So, if we we assume that this is the Earth, okay. Yes. Let us see. Let us make a line here. Here, this is the earth. We are here. Those are here is the Kaaba. All right. And then the hadith says that Allah come down every day from the seven heaven. Let us hear about the seven heaven. This is seven heaven. Seven heaven. Right? Now then yeah. there is a sixth heaven. Do you agree? After yes. seven heaven, six heaven. Yeah. All right. So now we put the six here. And then we have fifth heaven. And then we have fourth heaven. And then we have third heaven, etc. Okay. Then until Allah he arrived to the first heaven. All right. So Allah right now is where located? Now, yeah, based on your understanding, Allah is located where? 
above the seven Lines. heaven or in the seven yeah heaven? Above? above the seven heavens okay so guys allah is here now that's wonderful yeah. and then allah will go down is that correct you agree with me allah will go down yes okay yes we'll go down until he arrive to the first heaven yes that's wonderful the first heaven is here okay but between them there is there is seven heavens so allah now is inside his heavens going yes. through like a spaceship wonderful so guys he said yes allah let us let us type this so, I, I, let's listen yes yeah. allah, yallah, yes allah uh, yeah allah. yeah this is the thing is the distance between the first and the second heaven is a it's a journey of 500 years but in speed allah and only allah knows because we don't know how wide it is this is not the question my friend yeah, it is. No, no. Because Allah can get into his creation. No problem, no problem. But now Allah is going inside the heaven. And you you yes. said, yes, he is. Okay. The heaven is his creation, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So it is possible for Allah to go inside his creation. Yes, of course. Okay. So why you Muslims refuse that God can come in the form of a man? Because in order to go inside my creation. We don't know how wide the heavens is, but we, we know the length of it. Because hmm. Muhammad says in the Hadith, that the distance from the second to the first that to from the first to the second heaven is a distance of 500 years mm, no but problem we don't know how you wide the, it is you see how wide it is how small that, that one has changed anything let us say allah is so big allah is very big but still he is in yeah, I, but now he is contained obviously allah is smaller than the heaven otherwise he cannot fit inside the heaven actually in the quran it says allah will roll up the heavens and the earth by his okay, hand hold on, hold on. But you are the one who said to me that Allah now is going inside his heaven. We cannot take back yes. what we said, right? Okay. In order to be inside something, I have to be smaller than that thing, correct? Mm, yes. Okay. So Allah is smaller than his creation. Well, we, we don't know how wide it is, but this still is not, Allah can... This, that's my friend, Allah. my friend, my friend, this is not a question. This is not, I, I don't care about the size now. What are what we care because we don't know the details, you see, right? So what, what yes. we agree upon that Allah is he in order to get inside something, he have to be smaller than that thing. If in order to wear a suit, the suit have to be bigger than me, correct? Sorry. If I want to if I want to wear a suit, clothing, yes, those clothing have to be either fit for me or bigger than my size. Otherwise, if they are smaller, I cannot get in, correct? Yes. Okay, so now we confirm that Allah is the smaller from his creation. From the seven heavens. Yes, so he is a smaller because he can go inside them, correct? Oh, he's not that really okay. big. Okay, so he's not th that big. See, here we go. That's wonderful. Allah is not that big. Really. <laughs> Still, he can roll up the heavens with his hand. But this is a contradiction. Are you saying to me that Allah's hands is so big, but the rest of his body is so small? You are laughing at yourself or what? <laughs> what? How Allah he can roll the heaven with his hands, but yet he is smaller than the heaven. <laughs> Did you decide to leave Islam, my friend? <laughs> what happened? Yes. What? You decide to leave Islam? No. So you are laughing. You are laughing at your God now. I just said to you how Allah will roll the heaven and the earth with his hand, but yet you told me that he is inside the heaven and he's smaller than them. How the smaller heaven can roll the heaven inside it? We agree. We don't know how. Okay. Let me tell you something. Tell, tell me why you were laughing. Why you okay, are okay, why okay. you were why you okay. were laughing? Why you were laughing? Okay, okay. Okay. If you got into a small pool hmm. just uh, to get the you know just a bed or something mm. the length of it you are bigger than it but the wideness you can you can still get in it doesn't mean you are you are smaller if i am in the swimming pool i am bigger than the swimming pool no, no, no. for example you are in a uh, bath mm. instead of a shower mm. but you are still taller than a shower but you're not actually wider than it it doesn't mean you have to be smaller no, but you say you see here it says Allah is going down, so he's moving all of him. And the second you say down, that means he is going from point A to point B, and he will be in point B. All of him will be on point B, right? Yes. Okay. No, no, I don't know. I don't know all. What do you mean all? 
So otherwise, he did not come down. If he, he is not coming down, it means he's not coming down. Either he is moving all of him and he is inside, or he is not. I don't know. This is this is not an answer to say to me. I don't know. Okay, let me let me ask you another question. When Allah He appeared to uh, to Moses in the bushes, who was in the tree? What? When Allah He appeared to Moses in the bushes, who was in the tree? I don't know. What do you mean? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know why did Allah even appear in to Musa? Will he appear? Yeah, as a fire. As so what? As a fire, supposedly. You don't know? Did it say that in the Quran? I don't know. I will call a friend. What do you think? If that is true, what do you think about it? If Allah appeared to Musa in the, in the tree as a fire. I don't know, man. Hmm. Well, the Quran confirmed that Allah He came to Moses as a fire and He spoke to him from the tree. Read with me carefully. This is the Quran, chapter 28, verse this, number 30. That's just the spirit. The spirit, but, a, yes. But, but Allah does not have a spirit. He does. Who said that to you? Give me the name of the donkey. In the Quran, it says. Where? Uh, I. I I really don't want to share uh, search that right now, but it really says that. No, I, I understand, my friend. But the Muslim they say that the word ruhuhu meant that this is Jibreel. That's what they say. Now you are coming to me with different. I know what the word in the Quran says, and I agree with you. The Quran says ruhu, the spirit of Allah, right? Yes. But not a single Muslim in the world believe that Allah has a spirit. Why? You, I don't know. You tell me. It's your belief, not my belief. So I, you know, for me, I'm. I'm a person who discuss what they believe, not why. Well, that's actually wrong from them because they should believe of what is in the Quran, right? Okay. So, you, are you a Quran only? Sorry. Are you a Quran only, or you follow Hadith too? I'm full of Hadith too. Okay. So here we go. The Quran and the Hadith they confirm that uh, you know uh, uh, what make Muslims believe today that Allah don't have a spirit. So Muslims don't believe Allah. He have a physical body, as we heard. Zakir Naik saying Allah have a physical body he, he have yes. a body but he is not he have no spirit no Muslim believe in that you can search right now in Google you will see that Muslims don't believe that Allah has a spirit so Allah is just a physical body which make him a dead body let me ask you do Allah eat no okay do Allah breathe no okay do Allah sleep no okay well I have a statues of a duck in the front of my house it does the same it does not eat it does not sleep and it does not get tired standing there for years and your God Allah is a physical being as we Muslims agree you Muslims have hands have a foot he have a head he have eyes same as my duck that is an idol <laughs> why you are laughing Are you laughing at your God? <laughs> he hang up. <laughs> I agree. This is funny. This is stupid. Oh, what you have? You have a dead body. Have no spirit. He's not a spirit. He have eyes. He have hands. And you say to us, Allah has does, has no part. So the hand of Allah is not part of Allah. It's part of who? Do you see how silly this cult is? Do you see how silly? We go back to Muhammad Hijab. Actually, I will move the video a little bit, otherwise we will spend the whole night here. You know? He said that the the uh, the Trinity is something taken from the Roman, you know, as I remember, but I don't remember where in the video. I'm making to you is don't waste my time with this argument. And this, this, is the, this is the problem, ladies and gentlemen. If they actually believe that it's problematic for God to have part, why do they believe in Jesus as God? See how stupid? If it's a problem for God, no Christian call me. No Christian call me. Only Muslims, please. No Christian call me. 
if you if you have a problem pro problem what would God have been part why you believe in Jesus do you see how silly they are who said that to you we have a problem with having Jesus you are the one saying Allah has no parts for us we have no problem that God he came to us as a man <laughs> He is saying we are being hypocrite. It's not us who is being hypocrite. It's you, because we have no problem with it. Our problem is that you deny it, but it's there, and we are getting you busted. So now, actually, you admitted that Allah have parts, because He's saying if you accept Jesus having parts, then why you reject Allah having parts? So you admitted that Allah have parts. For God to have parts, why do they believe in Jesus as God? Yeah, He's a human. <laughs> I mean, you've just shot yourself right in the foot, man. See, shooting yourself right in the foot because if you believe Jesus is a human, he apart, then you cannot believe in him as God. But we showed you all Muslim scholars agree, and by the way, they are quoting Muhammad, they are not quoting anyone. Don't call me, don't call me, Muhammad. Your voice is bad. I want somebody he has his uh, his Skype is clear so we can understand him. Now we continue. Up until in time, anyone, no one says a life agenda. I'm sorry, no one says that in Athens. That's why I don't say that, of course, and the maturities, of course, and the, even the. No, all the Muslims agree. We don't, nobody says to you that Allah is divided, you idiot. You see, this is what this guy he do. We say to him, Allah has part. He say, who said that Allah is divided? Nobody said that. When we say, my hand is part of me, I am not saying that my hand is divided from me. That is your fabrication to avoid the problem. That is your fabrication because you are being stupid, ignorant, who do not dare to answer. Let us move a little bit in the video so we can laugh. The Quran says that they, i.e. the Christians and the Jews, but in particular here, we're talking about the Christians because uh, 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 of our discussion. They are copying the policies that came before them. So, now so you guys, listen carefully. He said that the Quran says that we are copying from the one who before us. All right. Hello. 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 How are you? Yes, my friend Ahmed. How are you? What do you think about your your brother uh, uh, Muhammad Hijab saying Allah has no parts? Why are you lying about Muhammad Hijab? Do you know what Muhammad Hijab said? Yes, he just said that Allah has no parts. No, this is not what he said. Do you, uh, okay. Can, can you repeat the my, my the, friend, the my friend, my friend? Let us go back to the debate. The, the, David, what he said to Muhammad Hijab. Your God, no, no, Allah has part. Hold on, hold on. He's answering who? He's answering who? He's answering Muhammad Hijab, uh, Muhammad uh, David Wood, correct? He's answering uh, David Wood. Video, hold on, hold on. Video, yes, video, yes. He video. said no. He said there's nobody said that Allah has part. No, he said no one said that Allah have a literal part. Why do you? you, you okay, you okay. Hold literal, on, hold on, hold on. Nobody part. says why, that why, Allah why? has literal part. Are you? Do you agree with him that Allah? Nobody says that Allah has literal part. Yes. Okay, let us play. For, okay, hold on. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let us Why play for you. you. Let us play. Literal. Let us play. Let us play for you some videos from the Muslims saying Allah has literal they, part. So why you are lying? Why you are lying? They are literal. Your, your prophet, he said that. Your prophet say, said that. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Allah Ta'ala has a foot. Does he not? This is how Christian friends lie always. Listen, listen, that? listen, I'm playing for you the video. Listen, 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 shut up. See, he is proving to you that Allah have a foot. How we prove that? Read carefully with me. Show, show me when he say this. Uh, the hand of Allah is literal like our hand. Show me when he said this. Like our hand? Who cares if it's like our hand or not? It's a hand. This is, this, what, what, what literal mean? 
What literal what mean? You tell me what literal, literal mean? mean. You see, you see, you Muslims are you add words just to play games. What literal mean? Why are you adding the word literal? Do Allah have hands? Do Allah have hands or not? This is the question. Do Allah have hands or he don't what have hands? Listen, stop playing games. Do Allah have hands or he don't have hands? This is the games that you play. No, you are the one who play. Who is speaking about literal hands? What, what literal hands? Are you are you saying okay? Are you saying that Allah don't have physical body? He does. He didn't have a literal physical body like a human. This I'm not asking about a human or not. You see, you are adding words now. You, you are playing. You are adding words. I did not say. Did I say like a human? I did not say that. I said, do Allah have a physical body? Abdul, answer. Did Allah do Allah? We did not ask him if Allah hands like the hands of a human. Don't lie. Nobody says that. Nobody says that to him. Nobody says that to him. You are a liar. Nobody mentioned that to him. We did not mention that. This is not the question. Do Allah have a hand? Yes or no? Allah have a, a, have a hand, but it's not like our hand. Thank you very much. So shut up, stop lying. So he have a hand, you not like my hand. You, you see, hold on, hold on. You, 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 you just, you just say it. You it just say it. Allah has a hand, but not like our our hand. Who care? But he have a hand. You admit it. So Allah. Okay. You, you let let care, me ask you now. Care. Let me ask you. Hold on. Is the hand of Allah our part of Allah or not part of Allah? Hand of Allah, it's a part of Allah at, and it's not physical. What do you mean it's not physical? Show me one scholar that say Allah is physical. Okay, hold on, hold on. You want you want show to show me. okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, did we just pray just a few minutes ago? Zakir Naik saying that Allah have a body? Physical body. Show me one say physical. I, I so he, is, 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 physical. His body is not physical. Show me so are you saying to me? Hold on, hold on. Are you saying to me that Allah have a have a body, but it's not physical? Yes. How he can have body without a physical? How you call it body? Because how you how you call it body point, if it's not physical? How because Allah say no one like him. Who care? No, no one like me too. My friend, according to science, nobody like me. Nobody like me. There's no two single men in this earth like me. Abdul, this does not make me God. This is another question. You, when you say Allah have a body, is that a physical body or it is not? It's not a physical body because Allah says there okay, is no one okay, like Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In Arabic here it says, يَكْشِفُ رَبُّنَا أَنْ سَاقِهِ فَيَسْجُدْ لَهُ كُلُّ مُؤْمِنْ وَمُؤْمِنَا Allah, he will show, Allah will show his shin and then everybody will bow down to his shin. Is the Did shin of Allah. The shin of Allah is not physical. So why you call it shin? No. This is the point. No, no one like Allah. Okay, okay, hold on, hold Almost on. This you see, you, you see your line. You are saying, okay. The question is, is is the? Can you show me a one one reference says Allah don't have physical body? Can you show me one that say Allah? I showed you. Here we go. I showed show you. Me, show, you show, I just showed you. It says a shin. He will show, show how, how you show can show. Okay, hold on, hold on. Body. The scholar in front of us in the in the in the video. He will show you that. Because in the show video, and, uh, hold on. Yes, he will say physical because he is going to put. Show me, show he, he is going to put his shin, his his foot in the fire. Is your listen, no, 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 listen, listen. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Let us hear. I please amongst my creation, and he said to hellfire, "You are my means of punishment, whom I punish anyone from amongst my creation, and both of you will be fueled." So he will create a new creation for paradise, but hellfire. We'll need more and more and more. It will say, as the Quran mentions, Surah Kaf, verse 30. Today we say to hellfire, Are you full? It says, No. Is there more? I want more. Then Allah Ta'ala places his foot in hellfire. His beautiful, magnificent, excellent foot. Did you hear that Allah will place his foot in the fire? Yes or no? I didn't hear a physical. Why you are lying? My friend, wait, you hold on, hold on. You see, you're, you're, you're being dumb, stupid now. You're trying to play dumb. I'm asking you, did he say, did he say, did he say, hold on, stop lying. Did he say he put his foot? Did he say that? Yes, but okay. he didn't say okay. physical to me. Foot. Okay, it's not physical. It's what? Allah, he put his foot in the fire. It's not physical. It's what? What he will put there? This is the point we don't know. We, Shut we, up, we you liar! Know. Don't call me See, again. You are a, me, you are a donkey. What? You are playing games. You are not honest. He just said he will put his foot, and the second you say a foot, it is a foot. It is not a nose. It is not an ass. It is not a finger. It is a foot. You are a coward. Show me where it says physical. Show me where it says physical.
People are laughing. What do you mean not physical? So it's a foot, but not physical. It's an ass, but it's, not, it's a foot. Is not a. It's a foot, but it's not a foot. It's an ass, but it's not an ass. It's an eye, but it's not an eye. It's a mouth, it's not an eye. I mean, what is that? As long he put, he put, it must be something physical. He put his magnificent, sexy, hot, and hairy foot in the fire. Magnificent, excellent foot. Hellfire. Are you full? It says no. Is there more? I want more. Then Allah Ta'ala places his foot in hellfire. Places his foot in hellfire. What Allah he do? Allah he places his foot in hellfire. How more clear we can make it? He plays something. What is that thing? The foot. Let us see. Uh. Allah Ta'ala has a foot. Does he not? We saw this one. Is there any proof for that? <laughs> you see, the Muslims are flagging the video. You see, guys? Mm -hmm. Which the, is? The Muslims are flagging the video of this guy. Do you see, guys? Prophet Lord. Prophet Lord. You see, the Muslims are flagging his videos. <laughs> He's a Muslim like them. Because they are trying to hide it, and I believe those are the supporters of this ad, Abdul. Uh, uh, you know, they are flagging his his videos because it's a it's a it's a exposing them. Do you see it? I played this video one thousand times before, but don't worry, we have it already saved in many places. Unbelievable deception. Muslims flagging Muslims. Let us see. Hello? How are you? I'm fine. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Yes. So what do you think about what you heard? What is... Uh, I didn't... Uh, what is... Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, well, if you are not listening, listen to the video, please, and then you can call me. Don't call me before you know the topic. What is your point? I, I, I heard, but what is your point? My point is... Why hijab saying Allah does not have parts when all the scholars say Allah have hands, have a foot, have a, have a eyes, uh, have fingers? Why? Why Muslim they do that? I th I think uh, Muhammad hijab say that uh, Allah doesn't have a literal part. This is what I understand. Don't have what? Uh, uh, Allah doesn't have a literal part. This is what I so understand. So what what those parts are are not literal. What does that mean? They are not literal part. What does that mean? They are not literal because we know that Allah says in the Quran there is no one like him. So my friend, if you my are friend, my friend, my friend, don't be, don't be silly, don't so, be silly, don't repeat yourself. Don't Muslim, please don't repeat yourself. I nothing like me, according to science. There's no two Christian prince in this earth. Does that mean I'm God? Does that mean it, nobody it is like you? Is that, is, that, is, no, is, that, no. is that mean nobody have hands like me? My All hand, have my hand, hand like my you. finger, my finger, as an example, is nothing All like you any finger. Are, have a comment. Okay, let me ask you, the hand of Allah is a real hand or a fake hand? Allah have a hand, but we don't know what is this hand. And Thank how you very it much. So how you say to me, how you are sure it's not literal? If it's not, you, are, you don't know how it looked like. How suddenly you became so knowledgeable to the point you can, you can tell us exactly what is literal or what is not. As long as you agree that he have a hand, it's mean he have a hand. As long as Allah, he says, Allah have a hand, it's mean he have a hand. So who are you to decide what is the hand of Allah? I, I will answer you about that uh, Allah appears to Moses uh, to Moses in the fire. You hmm. say that Allah is, is in the fire. This is this what you mean? I'm not the one saying that. The Quran saying that. Uh, can you can you show me the verse? I contradict. Okay, hold on. Let us see. Okay. Read the verse for me. Chapter th twenty-eight, verse number thirty.
Are you there? I don't I don't see it. Why you don't see it? Guys, is is the screen showing? Everybody see it. فلما فلما أتاها نودي من شاطئ الوادي الأيمن في البقعة المباركة من الشجرة أن يا موسى إني أنا الله رب العالمين. Was your God Allah is in the tree? In the top of the tree, inside the tree, beside the tree, where he was. You, you see, you see it, is, it is just divorce. What? It is not Allah himself. It is divorce of Allah that Moses heard. Divorce? What divorce? Divorce, divorce. The verse? No, no, divorce. When Allah speak. Ah, the voice of Allah. So are you saying to me the voice yes. of Allah is separated from Allah? Yes. Okay, so now are we have... Are you saying your voice is not, is not okay. separated from you? Okay, so you are saying this is God now. We are talking about God. So suddenly yes, you are very... Voice, so, now, so, so now you are saying to me, you just said to me, listen, everybody. You, you just said to me, are you saying that your voice is not separated from you? And you said... Allah voice is separated from him. So now we have a common yeah. between us, me and Allah, both of us, our voice right. is separated. And you are the one who just said to me, there's nothing like Allah, you keep repeating that. So now you just admitted that the my voice, hold on, hold on, you see, just to show you the stupidity the of the Muslims. Is you is are the huge. one, hold on, you are the one who said to me many times, nothing like Allah, and you keep repeating that. And now we agreed, yes, me and yes. you, that my voice is separated from me and the voice of Allah is separated from him. So we have common sense between me and Allah. We share something. No, no. The, the voice of Allah is not like your voice. Do the voice of just, Allah. Do the voice. Allah, okay. Allah voice do, doesn't mean you. Do the, do the voice of Allah. You are the one who says separated. So we are we are talking about the voice of Allah is like mine or not. It's about being separated. So now my, the voice of Allah is separated and Allah and me, my voice separated. So now me and Allah voice is separated, correct? When Allah says no one like him, he means his attribute. No Don't one change. Has. Is, is, his, is, his, is his voice is his voice from his attribute? No. So what it is? When he speak, the voice come. Okay. What is that? Is that a fart? What does that mean? What is that? What a vo what is the voice of Allah? The voice is the voice. What is? What okay. Are you okay hold on. Hold on. The hold voice on. is not an attribute. Oh, okay. Okay. Hold on. Where in the where in the verse it says, the voice of Allah came from the tree. A voice was heard a from voice? the right. Okay, okay, my friend, my friend, where in there it says a voice was heard? It is in front of me. Where this is translation? But when you he comes speak, to the fire, you, you speak Arabic. You speak. Heard. You speak an Arabic, and the Arabic in the front of me it doesn't say a voice. Show me, show me the Arabic one. Okay. What, what, what Nudia? What Nudia? What Nudia? You tell me what Nudia? Huh? Okay, so how are you guarantee that this is a voice? Yes, how, how you can call someone if you don't if you don't have a voice? Thank you very much. So Allah, he cannot call somebody unless he have a voice. So inspiration of Allah is a lie. No, my friend, this is one way. Okay, let me ask you, let me ask you. When, when, when the Quran says, blessed are those who they are in the fire and the one who is around the fire, who was in the fire? What, are, what is the point in this verse? In the same story, Allah, he said, Blessed are the one who is in the fire and the one who is around the fire. Who is the one around the fire? Read it in Arabic. Burika man fi nar wa ma hawluha. فلما جاءها نودية أن بورك من من في النار ومن حولها. This is uh, here. It is talking about Ibrahim, no? This is Moses now. This is Ibrahim. Is it not uh, the Ibrahim when uh, the people want to burn? No, my friend. I don't know. Who, I don't know who is the one who taught you Islam, but obviously he is a, he is a, he is weak. Maybe maybe uh, Muhammad Hijab. Read the verse before it says, it okay. is Qala Musa's, he said to his family, Musa's, he said to his family, I perceive a fire, soon I will bring you from, from there some information. I will bring for you burning a, a brand of uh, to light and the fuel. And then when he arrived, but when he came to the fire, a voice was heard. 
blessed are those in the fire and those around who is in the fire and who is around i don't know go to tafsir no you tell me you go to tafsir tell me what what, what i tafsir? don't know all the tafsirs okay do you agree with the tafsir go to it yes no if i show you something from tafsir you are going to agree it depends on the context okay then get lost don't call me again the band Depend. So depend. If I like it, I will say I accept it. If I don't like it, I say I don't accept it. So to avoid the problem here, because nobody knows really what Muslims can say, it depends. Name for me one scholar, and then when we show them a scholar, they say depend. Name for me one hadith. We show them the hadith. They say is depend. Is depend. If what you will show me will get me busted, we say no. If what you show me will agree with me, we say yes. As you see here, the voice came from the fire, and there is somebody who is a blast inside the fire. Who is that? And then the verse after it says, Who is that? He says, Oh Moses, verily I am Allah the exalted in might, the wise. That is the one inside the fire. And this is why it says. That it's a blast who is in the fire, and actually in the verse before it, we showed you it says from the holy spot in the tree. Why it's holy or holy spot where the tree is located? Why that spot is holy? Even your God, He asked Moses to take off his shoes. For this is a holy land you step in. Is it holy because Allah is exist there, book, or it is holy because this is Mecca? Obviously, Allah is speaking from that tree, inside the tree, and inside the fire in the tree. And this is a story Muhammad and the Muslims they stole from the Old Testament. Why you are calling me back? To call you because you okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Hold on. Do Allah is, is Allah exist in a physical place? No. Okay. Do Allah sit? Me do Allah? Do fire. Allah? Hold on. Do Allah sit in the chair? Let me ask you about the fire. Who is the one sitting in the fire? You tell me. Who is the one? It is the voice of Allah. The voice of Allah, Allah is in the fire, guys. The voice of Allah in the fire. So Allah is saying, blessed, blessed is the voice in the fire? It, what, 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 what is Moses? <laughs> it is the voice of Allah. My friend, not, hold not, on, hold on, hold on. Allah is saying to Moses, blessed the one in the fire. Is the, is the voice exist in the location? Isn't it the voice? Is it, is it, get, hold on, hold on. Let me let, every, let everybody laugh at you. Let everybody laugh it at you, my very, friend. Very, very easy, my friend. Let, let, listen, 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 listen. My voice, no. listen, listen. Listen, listen. Is, is the voice of Allah went to the to the ears of Moses? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Is that mean the ears of Moses are blessed? Just because you heard my voice in the phone doesn't mean I am in the phone, my friend. I'm asking you, you said the voice of Allah is in the fire. Does that mean it is located only in the fire? As simple as that. It, Moses heard it only in the fire. What Moses heard the voice of Allah in the fire. My friend, this is not the question. It doesn't say that. It says Allah, he said, bless the one who is in the fire. Allah saying that. Blessed is the one who is in the fire. Who is the one in the fire which is a blessed? What, who is he according to you? To me, according to, I'm asking you, who is the one? Who is the one in the fire? How many times I need to repeat the question? Who is the one? Show is me the Arabic one. Man, here we go. فلما جاءها نودية أن بورك من في النار ومن حولها وسبحان الله رب العالمين. 
Explain. I don't know the context of this verse. Okay, we do not know. So what we will do now? Who is the one in the fire? You Muslim, you have no idea, right? I don't know. If you can oh, go oh, to okay, I will, give, I will give you. I will, I will give you an options. The one was in the fire is a chicken, and it was a blessed chicken. The one in the fire is your God, and he was a blessed God. The the one in the fire is the voice of Allah, as you say. Which one you choose? Because Allah in this verse, He didn't uh, He didn't say uh, anything about who is in the fire. What do you mean? It says there. It's, it doesn't say. Hold on. Are you the one who says to me a second ago that the word nudi speaking about the voice? I said this. I, 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 I this. You are the one who said to me nudi, nudi yeah, mean the voice, right? Okay. Now you don't want to. No, here we go. Say the voice. So nudi. Yeah, and Burika man finnar woman hawlaha. Who is the one in the fire? You have no idea. Now let me ask you a question. As long as you cannot answer this one, do Allah sit in a chair? What? Do Allah sit on the chair? Show me the verse. What do you mean show show me the verse each time I show you something you say to me show are you a Muslim who knows Islam or no? The second I, I say know to it you, but show me the verse. Okay, so Oh boy Chapter 69 verse number 17 It says that Allah have a throne and the angels are carrying that his throne actually doesn't say even angels but we will go there do allah have a physical throne or it's a metaphorical throne it's a throne we don't know is it physical or not what do you mean you do not know because allah he, he didn't give us the, the, the details mm. he just said he, he, he is on this throne Okay. If Allah doesn't okay. give you, do you want me to it, show you? Is, you do you, see. do you want me to show you the seer? Go. No. Before I show you the seer, are you going to accept the seer, or you will say the bend? Go to it. Okay. No. Tell me, are you going to accept, or you will say the bend? Yes. You will accept it. That's wonderful. Okay. Chapter sixty-nine, verse number. Chapter sorry, sixty-nine, verse number seventeen. Let us go there. Read with me carefully. This is Tafsir al I will change it for you just to make you happy too. The angels will be all over its borders and the edges of the heaven and above them. And the angels that have had mentioned on that day are eight angels. They will carry the throne of your Lord. Do you see it? Yes. Okay. Who is sitting on the throne of Allah? He didn't say anything about this. He just say. Okay, I want you to read the this. The angels. No problem. Taking the. No problem. The, the, the Is it true that Muhammad himself he will sit he will sit on the throne with Allah? Just show me the hadith. I don't know. Don't tell me I do not know. So if we show you that, is that a proof that this is a physical throne and Allah is Muhammad is equal? No. They sit in one chair. No, just because you you, so, you sit so with you, Allah so doesn't you, mean you so are Allah. So you agree that Muhammad he sit on the chair with Allah, right? 
if the hadith says so okay so now okay here we go this is the hadith he says that Allah will make Muhammad sit on the chair with him this is the book name Kitab al Arsh printed by the government of Saudi Arabia hmm? al Jamia al Islamiya al Medina al Munawara Wizard al Ta'lim al Ari very very clear Sunni Kitab al Arsh Ta'lif of Ibn Abdullah Muhammad ibn Ahmad Uthman al Zahabi and here is the reference all right now we go back does it say that yes it says that Kitab al Arsh your your prophet he will sit on the throne of Allah read with me you speak Arabic I do not need to read for you do you see the reference move move this screen I didn't I don't, I don't see it what do you mean you don't see it you don't what do you mean see it everybody see it it's in the front of you. Do you see my screen? Hatta qala Abu Bakr al Majad al Faqih, Sahibu Abi Dawood, Walla Anna Walla Anna Halif and Halafa bit Talaki Thalathan, Anna Allah Yukaidu Muhammad and Mawa al Arsh, Westaftani, the Kultulahu, Sadak to Wabarat. Is it authentic or not? It's not authentic, but you Muslims agree with it? I mean, this will be funny. Each time we show them something, is it authentic? <laughs> Any, anyone can write a book. Maybe anyone, no, anyone. anyone but, but, but no one can print the book by the money of the government of Saudi Arabia and, and spread it all of schools. You know that those are Muslims who they will not tolerate such a thing. When you when you print the book and you 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 teach it in your schools and the book is saying that Muhammad, he sat with Allah on his throne, then this is what you believe. Otherwise, no, if friend. it's a lie, no, my friend, don't 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 play games. Otherwise, it's a lie. You are spreading out, you Muslims. And as you see, what I showed you, problem? I showed you, is, I the, pro the, the problem, the problem, the problem are is you the, are you the, me or the, are the, the problem. The problem is the following: Your God, Allah, have a throne, and now Muhammad sitting with Allah in the throne. So Allah is a physical being. Muhammad is a physical being. They are sitting at a phys physical throne, and both are of them. They are fitting in a space, and they are equal. How Allah he sat next to Muhammad in the throne if Muhammad is not God What is making Muhammad the qualified to sit on a throne and you Muslim you said to us that Muhammad or the God of Islam He is not physical you said to us actually he is not like anyone But as you see a man he have an ass he sit in the throne Allah he have an ass must have an ass to sit in the throne This is not metaphorical no more. It's a real throne which is carried by eight this angels understanding I understand it, my friend. It's you who's playing playing dumb. You don't want to understand. It is you who is saying to me that Muhammad, God, says that he will make his prophet Muhammad sit with him on the throne. The throne is a so physical what, what, throne. So that's mean. That's mean Allah and Muhammad are the same. Allah is God. No, my friend. Muhammad, no. Okay, what is making Muhammad qualified to sit with Allah throne? Because Allah wants... Okay, why, 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 why only Muhammad he will sit in the throne? Is he God? Isn't it the throne? No, because isn't he is it, a prophet is, of God. Isn't it the throne of Allah is the place where God only can sit? Are we allowing servant to sit in the throne with the king? Show me where he say Allah cannot cannot sit someone uh, with him. Go here we go. Show me again. Show me again. Each time we show him, he says, show me. We jump from show me to show me. We will spend the day doing show me. Show me now, show me there, show me, show me, show me everywhere. What do you mean show me? I just showed you. What's wrong with you Muslims? Show me? Didn't I? Let us go back to Muhammad Hijab and love. Muhammad Hijab, after that, he start, uh, actually, hold on. Muhammad Hijab, he said that this is something they stole from the Roman, the mythology of the Roman about the Trinity. In other words, there was borrowing, yes, borrowing from the ideas of those who came before. The polytheistic, paganistic ideas. That's not my argument, ladies and gentlemen. That's the Quran saying this. That's that is the Quran saying that. This is not my argument. Let me show you how stupid what you just said, because you just admitted that your prophet is taking the Trinity from people. 
before him because if we type in the hadith in English I will show you a trick guys look how easy it is I will just type the word tree three three you can type three times to make it more specific or easy finding you will find that Muhammad he do nothing in his life without the Trinity the Prophet of Allah he supplicated to Allah three times he asked Allah burden three times he perform wudu when he do perform wudu he wash his hands his feet etc all is a three time everything is three time everything in Muhammad life is a three time do you see it as long as you are saying the Trinity is something stolen from someone else why everything in Islam is based on the Trinity? Mary in the Quran, Allah said to her, "You speak, you tell, you tell the people you fast from talking for three days," which is very funny to say because she already spoke. How do you say to people, "I am fasting from talking"? By saying that you broke the fasting, and why three days? Same for Zechariah. Zechariah, Allah, he, uh, uh, Zechariah said to Allah, "Give me a sign that it is this is a miracle will be from you." He said, "You will be mute for three days." A Muslim woman, if she is divorced, the final divorce is three divorce. Muslims, when they recite the Quran, they say in the name of Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, which means everything in this religion based on Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. Three. Why three? What about four? What about five? What about six? Allah have 99 names. Which is nothing but multiply of number three. Everything in your cult is based on a three. If this is something taken from others and Allah is one, then you need to tell me why Allah cannot even present himself without three names. Why you're a prophet when he shake hands, he have to say assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Sound like sick for me. He cannot speak without repeating things at three times. Huh? A Muslim, his prayer is not accepted to Allah because he will not be pure. Unless he wash his parts three times, why not four? What about five? We'll make it even cleaner. Do you see it? Even Muhammad, he ordered the Muslim to sniff water in their nose three times. In your nose, how disgusting! Three times. Do you see it? Everything in his religion is three times. Be aware of the extremist perished saying it three times. Why you need to say it once? Isn't it enough to say it once? No, three times. We are people of the Trinity by belief, you are people of the Trinity by practice. Otherwise, I challenge any Muslim to tell me what is the wisdom of the three time. Abu Huraira said, and here we will see how smart Muhammad said. Wish mercy upon the person once, twice, and three times. Anything more that is cold. What the, what the heck? He's talking about if a Muslim he sneezes, ha <laughs> ha You say to him, may Allah have mercy on you. Ha <laughs> ha then you say to him, Allah has mercy on you. And then he said the third time, ha 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 And then you say to him, Allah has mercy on you. If he said that the first time, this must be called. Look how smart he is. I mean, you must be genius. Isn't it obvious from the first time you can tell if somebody is sneezing because if he has called or not? Because obviously he will be, his nose will be running. He look will be look different. His eyes will look different. So he have to sneeze three times, saying to him, Allah has mercy on you. After that, this is called. Don't say that no more.
What's wrong with this cult? Do you remember when Muhammad Hijab, he was debating David Wood, he repeat things three times? Because Muhammad, he do that in debate too. If we go in the hadith, we will find Muhammad, always when he want to confirm something, he have to say things at three times. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Read carefully with me. This is a debate supposedly between Adam and Musa, which is very funny, where Musa's here believe in the, in the in the original sin. And Adam, he don't believe in original sin. And Adam saying to Musa, you blame me for the sin which Allah, he cited for ye, for me in my destiny. He wrote for me. 40 years before my creation and my fate. And then Muhammad, he want to say that Adam, he won the debate. Look what he said. The prophet added, repeating the statement three times. What is that? So Adam confuted Moses. Adam confuted Moses. Adam confuted Moses. Thanks God, it was a three time only. Otherwise, we will spend the night hearing Muhammad saying, so Adam confuted Moses. So Adam confuted we got it man now as long you are the one hold on, hold on don't call me please muslims now just hold on unless you are muhammad hijabo because we have something more funny as long he's speaking about copying it from the roman why allah he copy the crucifixion from the roman you can go right now and study you will find that crucifixion is a Roman punishment. Why Allah is copying from the Roman? Innama jaza'a alladhina yuharibuna Allah wa rasulahu. The punishment for those who wage war, by the way, wage war here does not mean war. Me, myself, supposedly now I'm waging war in Allah, so I should be executed. And should be crucified so the punishment of those who wage war against Allah and his messenger and strive with might main and for mischief what is the punishment execution or a crucifixion why Allah is copying the crucifixion punishment from the Roman why Allah did not say to Musa before do crucify people Your God, Allah, is the one who copied from the Roman. I just, I made a video yesterday in the same account. You can check it out. A rabbi, which the Muslims, they like very much. His name is Toweeva Singer. And he said that the Christians, they copy from the Roman, the virgin birth of Jesus. So you Muslims, you support this rabbi. And you just say that the Christians we copy from the Roman, but this is existing the Quran. And you Muslim, you support this rabbi, big deal. And actually, he live in your Islamic countries, and you praise him, and you keep calling him, and you say, "May Allah bless you." He just said, and you, the video is just there in my channel, just a day before. Go and watch it. As you see, everything in your religion is a copy from somebody else. Now we continue with Muhammad Hijab comedy. Why Muhammad Hijab? He don't want to debate the Christian prince. Do you want to hear why? Please laugh. Listen and laugh. We will move forward. <clears throat> Invasions and they were. We're not saying they're not conquest, we are saying they are conquest. Here's my answer to it Jordan Peterson, and David Wood, and all those individuals. Islam was a totalizing force, yes, in a totalizing world. Hold, hold on, before, I, before we go there, we were talking about the Middle Ages, legendary. we were talking about the Middle Ages, medieval empire. Now, there was no John Rock, yeah, there was no liberalism. 
all of that stuff didn't even exist. Yeah. So we're talking about no visas and borders and all this. Thing. No, no, we didn't have borders, but we didn't have visas, right? Maybe. Uh, Biophysics, physicists, or something like that. They believe in a different the North Africa. Yeah, they, they didn't believe in that that that, that was a split. Anyway, that's the point. So when Islam came, they, they recognized monotheism and pure simple monotheism. Yeah, they accepted it easily. Simple as that. Although, yes, the verb took a long time to convert, and there's lots of issues that happened along the way. We're not trying to say that. One more point. The guy was making, I think he made an argument, and I, I didn't have time to be honest with you. We've been traveling. And we have not had time to answer him for all these points. Well, he was saying that I said Islam spread organically. Remember when that there was a Christian guy who asked me a question about Islam being spread by the sword? And I said, look, Christianity has been spread by the sword, yeah? Because he was trying to imply that the Christianity was not spread, spread by the sword or whatever. And so he said to me, look, I am apolog I'm apologetic to the extent where I'm uh, uh, disregarding the conquest of the early days. No. In the same debate, I think we're very proud of the conquest in the early days. People have to realize something. At the time of, we were talking about the Middle Ages, ladies and gentlemen. We were talking about the Middle Ages, medieval empire. Now there was no John Rock. Yeah, there was no liberalism. All of that stuff didn't even exist. Yeah. So we're talking about no visas and borders and all this. Thing. No, no, we didn't have borders, but we didn't have visas, right? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, maybe. Yeah, yeah. But what I do want to say is this: is that in such a place, look at the Roman Empire, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. From what 55 BC, I don't know when it established itself, in the, uh, you know, in maybe 55 BC or something like that, yeah? So it's been around for years, yeah? Oh, and what has it been doing? All it's been doing is colonizing and expanding its empire. The Sassanid Empire, which was the other empire at that time, is it, they're not liberal empires. You don't li look, I, I was watching um, Jordan Peterson, yes? He said that he's using the same argument. He's saying, no, Jordan Peterson, yeah? he's, trying, he's, intellectual. he's saying Islam is a totalizing force. Because why? Because he's talking about the early expansion and invasions. And they were, we're not saying they're not conquest. We are saying they are conquest. Here's my answer to it. Jordan Peterson, David Wood, and all those individuals. Islam was a totalizing force. Yes, in a totalizing world. Because it had to be. Because everything else was. It's either eat or be eaten. What are you talking about? You're going to say, I want to I shake your hand to the Roman Empire. They'll stop you and take you over. Let, me, let us get you busted. So he's saying everybody want to kill them. So they have to kill everybody. Let us get them busted. The Quran exposed this Abdul. Chapter 5, verse number 51. Start from there. The Quran said in that chapter that take not Christians and Jews as a friends and protectors. How everybody want to kill you, but everybody want to protect you, and you don't want to take them as a friends or protectors. How the enemy want to protect you? And you reject that. Do you see it? This is the lies of the Muslims. Oh, who you believe? Take not the Jews and the Christians for your friends and protectors. So when a Muslim he says we were fighting the Christians because they want to kill us, that's a big fat lie. The Quran confirmed that the Christians and the Jews they don't want to kill the Muslims. They want to be your friends and your protectors. If somebody is your enemy, he will not become your protector. That will be a funny statement to say. If I am a Hamas and we say take not Israel as a protector, because obviously Israel do not protect Hamas. They are enemies. So who is the one forbidding you from having peace with them? Is your Quran your liar? You're a prophet before long he saw or met the Roman. He said, I've been ordered to fight and kill all mankind. And uh, by the way, there's a video of Hijab himself saying, it's not all mankind. The Muslims are exception. <laughs> I wish I have it. The Muslims, the, pro, the he said, the proof that this is not all mankind, it is not include the Muslims. And I agree, not include the Muslims. But it's still. Hello? Hello, Christian Prince. How are you? Oh, I'm fine, my friend. Who is with me? It's a Muslim. What you are talking about? I don't know. Your name, it says, your name here, it says Ali Dawa. <laughs> are you Ali Dawa? No, I am a fan, a, a fan of Ali Dawa. Oh, okay, you're a fan. Why well, you are a fan of Ali Dawa? He's a, he's a prophet now? 
just because he is a brother Muslim. Okay, that's wonderful. So, my friend, what do you think about your brother uh, Hijab saying Allah has no parts? Do you agree with that? <laughs> Stop sneezing, man. We cannot continue talking this way. You are, you are, uh, you know, are you sneezing? Okay, please? okay, okay. Okay. What is your problem? So, your your Hijab said that Allah has no parts. Do you agree with him? Yes, I agree because all school, all, all Muslim scholars say the same thing. Mm, so, your prophet he lie? Isn't it your prophet he said that Allah he have a foot? The Prophet never say Allah have a, a literal hand. What literal mean? What, what, why you Muslim keep saying literal? Not, if you're a prophet, because, said, because if it's you're not a, physical. Okay, if you're a, what do you mean not physical? What do you mean not physical? If you have a foot, the foot is what is a is a uh, uh, is a is a three D dimension. Uh, the foot uh, can be uh, spiritual, can be anything. We don't know. You see, you are the same person who called me before, and now you change your name, correct? No, my friend. Okay, now. Does it say here that Allah he put his foot? You in believe the fire? in Trinity, my friend. Can we talk about does, your no, no, no. We are here now to talk about Jesus. Don't, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Why you don't want did to your talk? prophet say? It? Did your prophet says that Allah he put his foot in the fire over it? Did he say that? Show me the hadith. It's in the front of you. Hello. It didn't say a physical. It doesn't say it's physical. So Allah, He will place His foot over the fire, but it's not a physical foot. It's what? This this is the point, my friend. We don't know what is really. Don't. So how you know it's not physical then? Because He didn't say it is physical, so we cannot how judge you can, him. How you can how you can how you can place something over something if it is not physical? He said he plays. He plays his can foot. Do anything, my no, I know I can't do anything. Here we go. He just did. He just placed his foot over the fire. So how you place something not physical over something it is physical? This is this is the power of God. He can put uh, his his. No his, problem. This is another, uh, this another question. If this is not physical, what made you believe it's not physical? If he is saying he placed his foot over the fire. Because he didn't say so, he didn't say anything okay, about this. Let, let, let me ask you, let me ask you, do Allah have a physical shape? Can we, can we talk about the Trinity? Do, do Allah have a physical shape? Can we talk about the Trinity? We can, no problem, but we finish. Do Allah have a physical shape? Allah have a shape, but it's not physical. Guys, Allah has a shape, but not physical. What is your proof? Because he didn't say so anything about physical Okay, so Allah have how many shape Allah he have? He have a shape. How many shape? We don't know. No, we know. The, the hadith says Allah have two shape. Show me where he said two. Here we go. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. It says that Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one which they know. Allah will come where to he them two. in a shape. This is your saying again. This is what? This is your assumption, your understanding. I'm not. Didn't I, say I, I, clearly I, I, did not, I did not understand anything. It says Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they knew. The second you say other than the one they saw first time, it's mean this is a new shape. Are you are you deaf? It says not me. This is this it is says, your assumption. I, I'm not assumption. It says other than the one they know. What is the shape they know? He is the one. Your God, Allah, saying that Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they know. Other, do you know what other? in the day of judgment doesn't matter? So, Allah have many shapes. You said to me, Allah have one no, shape. No, because I, I, I will teach you teach in me. the day of judgment. We have another, we have another creation. We are not like at this, at this, Abdul, uh, who care about your creation now? I'm not talking about you, yes, I'm talking yes. about Allah. Don't be stupid. Allah Himself has a different shape, not you, not you, not you. The three times you understand it now, at not you, time, not you, Allah, not you. So, you listen. It is Allah who have a you new shape. The, Allah, Allah. Okay, Allah shape now. He has come to you in a shape other than the one do you know. What is the shape of Allah which you know? You missed the point. Allah at the, at the day of judgment, mm. He will give you the ability to see Him because He will judge you. Abdul, what does this have to do with the question? 
This is the point. We are talking about the shape. The no, shape. you cannot he see said, God. He said, he said, hold on. Don't, don't be stupid. Allah will come to you in a shape other than the one you know. So this is a new shape. Allah has a new shape. What is the shape? It's, the, 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 it's a form. You can translate it as a form. It's, it's a not, form. Okay. What, it's not a physical. When we, say, when we say a shape or a form, does that take a space? No, not literally. So how you have a shape but you don't have a space? This is for God, for, for a human, but mm. for God, he can he can be in a form without a, a space. Ah, so Allah have a shape but he is empty from inside. He is not empty, but he, you full. cannot imagine it because you don't have. Stop saying we can't imagine. imagine. I mean, God. I mean, how stupid you Muslims are! You keep saying to me, is it a it is a shape, but it's not physical. The second you say the word shape, you idiot! You just said it's a physical. It's a shape. Do you know what shape I means? I didn't say physical. Do, I do you know? Do you know shape, even? You do, you know even do you know even what shape mean? It's a form. Form of what? A form. We don't. We don't know how is it. This is not the question. When you say a shape, what shape mean? Okay. Can Allah, in the day of, of judgment, do you will see God or not? This is not the question. Don't change the topic. Yes, and how you can see? Point. How you can see God if He is not invisible? Is He visible or invisible? At, at this world, this is invisible. But so thank you very much. He so now he is. So him. now he is visible. Thank you very much. So what we will see in Allah, we will see a shape. Is that correct? You when you will see Allah. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Because you okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Allah will come to you in a shape, in a form. You said a form. And you say this is the form of Allah, but we do not know how it looked like. So why the Muslim here they will say we seek refuge from with you from Allah? You are not our Lord. Why they say that to him? Why the Muslim they reject Allah when he comes? Because to before he they never see Allah before. Okay, but how did you now this is not Allah? If they never saw Allah because before, Allah give him the the ability to to know him. My friend, uh, you just say they never saw Allah. How they were sure that this is not Allah? Are you seeing Allah cannot change your mind to see him? Abdul, don't be stupid. This is not about changing. This is not this is not about you are being a stupid. It, it, nowhere it says Allah will change you to be able to, to see it. It is Allah he will change. We it's Allah. Abdul, Allah. stop being a stupid. It is Allah who will change his shape, not you. Are you seeing Allah cannot change your mind to know him? Allah cannot do anything. We can prove it from the Quran. Allah, he squeezed Muhammad two times and still Muhammad can read. I talk about God. Are you yes, God? I'm talking about Allah. I'm talking about Allah. Allah, no, not Allah God. Is God. He can no, do Allah, is, Allah is not God. He can do nothing. Prove it to me. Allah, he told Muhammad, read it three times and still Muhammad, he cannot read. What are you talking about? If Jesus said to the donkey, read, the donkey will speak all, all languages. If, the, if Jesus said to the blind man, see, he saw your God, Allah, he said to Muhammad the three times and he squeezed him three times till he can't read. So what do you mean, Allah, if he want, he can't do anything? He cannot do anything. Now answer. Who is the one? You liar, you liar, you changed your name. You came with the name of Ali Dawa. You told me you did not call me before. You are the same person who called me. This is how he became oh, no, Muslims Now, I, I want you to swear by Allah that you are not the same one who called me today, before. I swear by Allah, I am not the same person. Okay, you did not call me today before. No, my friend. Why you are? Why? Why do you lie? Because you, okay, no, no problem. Now listen, Allah. Can you talk about the Trinity? Listen, listen. Yes, we are talking about the Trinity. Here we go. Let's see. I'm showing you the Trinity right now. Why? Allah, in Allah, 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 hold on, Allah, hold on. No, no. We our, we have why, a why? we have a topic today about your 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 buddy Muhammad Hijab. Yeah. We are getting him why busted. Jesus Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't 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 change the topic. We are getting your your prophet Muhammad Hijab I busted. Answer you about my God. Can you answer me about you, your God? You did not answer me about your God. Get lost. You never answer me. You keep saying to me, Allah have a shape, but it's not physical. Everybody is laughing. Everybody is laughing. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Yeah, propaganda to 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 make Muslims pay them money. Yeah. Was when.
people pray and say, Oh Allah Azza wa grant us the ability to see your face in paradise. Or when Hello? someone prays you and says, yes. May Allah Azza wa Are you a Muslim, my friend? Yes, I just called you like uh, an hour ago. Okay, let us finish this video and you can call me back again, please. Yes. Will allow you to see Allah's face in paradise. Wouldn't this be giving Allah Azza wa Jal attributes of humans? And the answer is no. Allah mentioned Azza wa Jal in his book describing himself a number of attributes that we believe in. So Allah Azza wa Jal tells us in Surah Al Rahman, Wayabaka Wajhu Rabbika. Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is what I call myself and all of my brothers and sisters. Recite the Quran. Get your best knowledge from the Quran. Don't devote five minutes a day, ten minutes a day we to did, the Quran. We did. This no, is why we are devote laughing. more, an hour, an hour and a half, mm. to recite the Quran and to learn what it says at the same time. Now, in the Quran, Surah Al-Rahman, Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَيَبْقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ Everything will be perished except Allah Azza wa Jal. And here Allah Azza wa Jal is referring to himself by saying that his face will remain, which means Allah Azza wa Jal, uh, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala, will not perish. He is the first without a beginning and he's the last without an ending. Azza wa Jal. He's the creator of the all. His face. So Allah has a face. Take a note. Uh, uh, what you see and what you do not see. And he's not created. And he does not die. And he does not have an ending. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah described in the Quran that he has a face. Allah described in the Quran that he has two hands when he addressed Iblis, Satan. And he told him, what prevented you from prostrating to what I have created with my two hands? So this is what Allah described himself. Allah says in Surah Al-Qalam that on the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa would uplift and show his leg. And they are called to prostrate and everyone prostrates. Guys, did he say he will show his leg? Did this shake? He said Allah will show his leg. Did you hear how many times those liars, they try to get away from this. They say it's not physical, it's not physical. It's a leg, but not physical. It's an eye, but not physical. It's a hand, but not physical. It's a face, but not physical. I mean, how stupid you are. And they are called to prostrate what Allah described Himself. Allah says in Surah Al Qalam that on the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa would uplift and show His leg. And they are called to prostrate, and everyone prostrates except the hypocrites. All the believers will prostrate, and the hypocrites will try to prostrate, and their back goes one piece, and they will be thrown into hell. Allah tells us about himself subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has an eye. The Prophet tells us that the Prophet has that Allah Azzawajal has fingers when he says, Oh Allah, the hearts are between two of your fingers. You flip them as you wish. Oh Allah, make my heart steadfast on your religion and so on. These attributes, one would say, Akhi, this is similar to humans. How can we say this to Allah? As I say, I seek Allah's forgiveness. <laughs> so Allah have fingers by the way did you notice that the Muslims are flagging those videos did you notice that's why I'm saying to you download it before they take it down they are trying to hide from us the disaster in this cult so they are flagging all over the Islamic videos which was there for centuries yes yeah. hello the so your God have uh, a shape of a body. Okay. The Father in heaven. Hmm. Oh, hold on, my Skype, he, uh, Skype he crash. So what? You see, the problem is in your religion. You Muslims, you refuse to accept God. He have a physical shape. And our, 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 our you know, the Bible says that God created Adam in His image. In His image, He's created. He created him. So we say that and we believe in that and we have no problem with that. But you are the Muslim who play games saying we don't believe in that. Actually, Muhammad, he copied the same exact hadith. Or the same phrase from the Bible. And he says that Allah created Adam in his image. 
and the Muslim they try to get away from what Muhammad said. He copy it word by word. Read it. Allah created Adam in his image, and then Muhammad he added it is 60, it is 60 cubit. Yes. Did Allah say that he created Adam in his image, my friend? Hello. Yes, I hear you. Hold on. Hello. Wait. Okay, you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Did Allah created Adam in his image? Yes or no? In his what? In his image. Yes. Okay. So Adam and Allah, they have the same image. No. What do you mean no? You just said yes. Uh, they don't have the same. What the hadith says, Allah created Adam in his image. And he was 60 cubit yes. tall. So Allah is 60 cubit tall. Adam was 60 cubit tall. So what? Allah and Adam, they no, look the Allah same. Is... No. What do you mean no? The hadith in front of me, this is Sahih Bukhari. It doesn't say that they are the same. It says that Allah created Adam in his image. And this is what is mentioned in the Old Testament in the Bible, that God, he created Adam in his image. In his image, he created him. He copied exactly the whole sentence as it is from the Old Testament. No. What do you mean now? It's in the front of your yeah. eyes. Do you see it or no? It's once Allah's revelation that's why is it's the same well uh, no no problem but allah here he says allah created adam in his image yes yeah, so what, what okay so the, the so allah and adam they have the same look oh. you mean no and he was a very very big guy adam was 30 meter tall is that is that correct yes why he was taught or so tall like this he was big like Allah. No, Muhammad. He explained why. Why now we are short? He says he was big like Allah, and then he made him short. He was in the image well, of Allah. Huh? It doesn't say where. Uh, it says here. Where does go. he say? It says here in the hey, read, 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 okay, read, 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 okay. He will be yeah, shaped in the picture of Adam uh, since the creation of Adam of spring. So then Allah he made it less, less, less in in, in height. You read it. It's in front of me. And Muhammad what actually, should I read? and Muhammad, Muhammad, he forbid even the Muslims to, uh, uh, to beat a, a, a man in his face. If you want to beat him, beat him in his ass. Why? Because Adam, he have the image of Allah. And no. this is, and this is, don't tell me no. I will hang up on you. I, I show you the hate in front of you in your eyes. This is Sahih Muslim hate number two six one two. When any one of you fight with his brother, he should avoid the face. For Allah created Adam in his own image. Yes, his image, but it doesn't say that they are, they look the same. Ah, they don't look the same. Um, Allah is more handsome. No. Hmm. I will tell you what some Muslim they will say to us. They say, don't beat the guy because he looked the same as Adam. But this is what it says here. Allah created Adam in his image. And this is exactly what it says in the Old Testament. Now, let me ask you, my friend. You are the one who called me before and you said you have no problem that Allah have parts, right? Yes. Okay. I want to I wanna show you something. I want you to tell me. I want you to share with me this. Muhammad Hijab, he is answering the Muslims why he cannot debate me. Listen carefully, please. Somebody will ask him, why you don't debate Christian Prince? And let us see what Muhammad Hijab will say. What is really the reason he don't uh, debate a, a Christian Prince? Is, uh, I, I don't know what the controversy is. Here's, here's, here's the big difference. The difference is converting people within your own empire. Now, here's the point I wanted to make. Islam explicitly forbids the compulsion of people that are not Muslim into Islam. Do you agree with him that Islam forbid you from forcing people to convert to Islam? From what? He just said that Islam forbid you from forcing people to convert to Islam. Do you agree with him? No. So what do you mean no? So Islam forced people to convert to Islam, right? No. You just said no. You are saying no to whatever I said to you. Are you listening? No, no, no. no, no yes, yes, yes. I, I, uh, I meant yes. Okay. 
So when this guy he said that Islam do not forbid anyone, don't force anyone uh, uh, to convert to Islam. Is he telling the truth? Yes. Or he's telling the truth. Yes. Okay. I want I want you to read for me a verse for me in the in the screen. I will show it to you. Chapter 8, verse number 39. Does it say that you fight them until they believe in the faith of Allah? No, it doesn't say that. What do you mean? It says saying? until there's no more samut or oppression. It doesn't say that uh, fight them until they believe in Allah. It says until there's no other religion except the religion of Allah. No. <laughs> it says all the religion have to be for Allah. Read it in front of you. I'm reading it. Okay, so read with me what it says. And fight them on until there is no more samut or oppression and. That okay. justice what is the Allah. what is the oppression they are talking about? Is it really they are oppressing you, or you are the one who oppression them? Because they are saying here that we want the religion only to be for Allah. So having other religion beside the religion of Islam is an oppression for Islam. Yes or no? No. Okay. Let us see other verse then. Does your God have a physical body? Don't change the topic. Don't change no, the topic. Okay. I, don't change the topic. Don't, don't change the topic. Okay. Do Muslims leave Islam after became Muslims? Yeah, I just get, get lost. Do we have any Muslim? Wanna call us? This guy he said to us that in Islam you don't force anyone to accept Islam. What is the punishment of somebody who accept Islam and leave Islam? It is death. Is it Muhammad? He said, even before you convert to Islam, I been ordered to kill all mankind. Until all mankind accept Islam. So the order of fight is not about you fighting Muhammad or not, as this guy he's trying to say, and this is a Sahih Hadith. I have been ordered, commanded to fight the people until they say, until what? Not until they stay, they stop fighting me or they agree to have peace. No, until they say there's no God but Allah. And if they say that, then I will not kill them unless they go out of Islam, or let us say they are not practicing Islam. You see how they lie? There's many hadith speaking about that, and all of them they are accurate, and every Muslim accepted. Even if you don't practice Ramadan, he will kill you. Even if you don't pray, he will kill you. Even if you don't pay zakah, he will kill you. Which means even if you convert to Islam and you don't do any of those things, Muhammad is still will kill you. You have no protection for your blood and your property unless you do all those things. And this liar was saying to me, well, Muhammad is exist at the time of everybody going to war. So either you will eat or you will be eaten. That's a big fat lie. As you see, Muhammad is making it clear that he have a duty to kill all mankind unless they convert to Islam. You have to say the Shahada. You have to pay Muhammad the money. 
you have to slide to, 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 to pray as you pray you have even to pray in the direction of the prayer of Muslims and you have even to fast the same as they fast the slaughter as they slaughter they eat as they eat as you see all those hadith you see it you have to do all those things if you don't do any of those it is halal to kill you this is why Isis was killing Muslims because in Islam those are not Muslims if you don't pray you are not Muslim if you don't do slaughter, I will slaughter you are the Muslim. If you don't fast as we fast, you are the Muslim. If you don't face the Qibla, you are the Muslim. And you will see someone like James White saying to you, how I should present Islam when they are killing Muslims. Because, because he's an idiot. Whoa. Yes, my friend, are you a Muslim? Answer my question. Does your God have a physical body? Yes or no? Yes, my God has a physical body. Do your God have a physical body? Yes. Okay, so why you why you why you Muslims refuse God to be God just because he have a physical body? No, I'm talking about the Father in heaven. I'm not the asking. This don't change the topic. You you uh -oh. just said you said no, Allah, do Allah have a physical body? Yes or no? Topic. Are do you your, do your God do your God Allah have a physical body? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so why your your brother before you? He said Allah does not have a physical body. Why you Muslims are, are a bunch of liars? Why each one of why each one of you he defend with different lie? Why not? Why you why you Muslims? Why you Muslims are not honest? Why the guy before you he said Allah does not have a physical body, and you are saying no Allah have a physical body? Let me ask you now, where is the physical body of Allah located? Above the seven heavens. Above the seven heaven. What is that? Yes, above the seven heavens. Where where is that? Where is that? Oh, on his throne okay on the throne is there is air yeah. do Allah breathe air or he is out of the air no he doesn't breathe air if there is air around him I don't know if so uh, is Allah surrounded by anything he created like air and cloud and etc I don't know it's not okay read, read, read for me the hadith please read it for me it says that Allah there is above him air and underneath of him there is air Okay, let me see. Hmm. Uh, where was our Lord before he created his creation? He said he was above the clouds, below which was there, and above which was there. Hmm. So what's the problem? The problem now is inside his inside his creation. Not only have a physical body. But he is inside his creation because above him there is air, underneath of him is air, which means there's above Allah and is under of Allah. What that's is it, what is above Allah? Does not matter? But that's, that's, for me, it matter. What is what is above Allah? What is above what is above Allah? You Muslim, you say Allah cannot be contained inside anything. Here we go. You agree he's a physical being, and now we find that Allah above him there is air, underneath of him is air. How big is Allah? Your God, the Father in heaven, is also inside His creation. He is in heaven, right? My friend, we, we, we as a Christians, we we as a Christians, we have no problem that God He come to us inside His creation. Everybody know that it's not a secret. You as a Muslim now, you are need to you need to tell me why Allah, why why you Muslims, you say to us to Allah, nothing like Him, and He cannot be inside His creation. And now we find that He is inside His creation. Why you lie to us? That is small. Okay, hold on. Is Allah inside his creation or not? No. But he, it says here that above him there is air, underneath of him there is air. That doesn't matter, it's air. Oh, there's air. That's mean he's inside something. No. He's, he's inside at least the air. Yeah, he's surrounded by the air. Air is his creation, isn't it? If I am surrounded by air from all direction, is air my creation? Yes. So I am inside the air. So what's the problem? Allah is inside his creation. So what's the problem? That's mean that's that you Muslim when you yeah. reject God to be inside his creation in the story of Jesus, you are being hypocrite. That means he's inside his creation. Okay, let me let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Muhammad Hijab, Muhammad Hijab, he explained to us that Allah he have a God other than the God which we knew. I, I want to know if you agree with him or not, because now that will prove to us a lot of things about Islam if you don't mind. Muhammad Hijab he said that Allah he pray the same as Muhammad he pray. I'm going to show you the video. Give me a second. And oh. I want you I want you to tell me what do you think about that? Hold on, hold on. If Allah is inside his creation and Allah he pray and he pray to another god. 
That is a no, clear proof. Make... Okay, we will no. see. Here we go. This is Muhammad Hijab. No. This is a friend. He's an Arabic teacher. Getting a Muhammad Hijab busted. And I will play for you Muhammad Hijab and you tell me what you think. <laughs> so you are getting your brother busted because Hold he on. is something different, my friend. Lee and two, it doesn't make any difference. And the uh, Muhammad Sallallahu the word silly. Let me show you how Muhammad Hijab himself, he shut you up and he show you that you are a person who is not sharing the truth. This is your brother Muhammad Hijab speaking and telling us what he meant. Don't tell me you want to explain to us what he said. And not only that, he is getting you busted by using a verse from the Quran, exact same verse, I mean same words, used in the verses we are talking about, Allahu malaikatuhu yusalluna ayan nabi. He is quoting for you a verse showing you that you are a hypocrite taking a side of hijab, even though hijab he, com he, com he confessed and he says, yes, Allah, he pray, but he pray for, not pray to. Listen carefully and laugh at yourself how silly you are. Used here, the believers. I mean that he's worshiping the believers. Is that what you think the message? Listen is carefully. Or we'll play it from the beginning. One thing. Number two, David Wood is still trying to push this point that uh, Allah supposedly prays to the uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Surah um, Al Ahzab. In Allah Malaikat wa Salluna Al Nabi. He says Salluna Al Nabi means that he's praying, worshiping him. Let me finish this. Debate. That's false. David Wood. Everybody can watch the debate, and you will see. How Muslims they lie that even like the guy he just finished the debate, the debate is recorded. David would never say that Allah he pray to Muhammad to worship him. He said he pray for Muhammad. And you are the one who repeat after him says, This is why it says pray for, not to. But your brother here, he just said this Arabic teacher with the long hair, and he looks so very, very uh, very attractive for girls. That uh, you know, my hair is going to tell you something different, my friend. Lee and two, it doesn't make any difference. And he just said that, which means you are being stupid and your brother is getting busted, getting you busted. Because what the difference between praying for and praying to? Your brother here, he got you busted. He said, there's no different. It's the same. It's really unfortunate, actually. Like when I was watching this debate, I actually felt send salutations upon someone. No one to pray to them. It's a complete Lee in Arabic is the same. You know, the preposition Lee has the meaning of four and two. <laughs> so you are getting your brother busted because he is the one who said this is why the translator he said for not to so you are saying that Muhammad hijab is an idiot but you don't dare to say it because you want to take his side it doesn't matter how if he's wrong or right and now let's see how Muhammad hijab would get you busted you see you get him busted and now it's time it's time for Muhammad hijab to get you busted listen carefully one verse in the Quran in chapter 9 verse 103 <laughs> Prophet Muhammad is being commanded to salli ala. The same wording is used here, the believers. Does that mean that he's worshipping the believers? Is that what you think the message of Islam is? <laughs> <laughs> See, he quotes for you this exact sentence in different chapter in the Quran. And he says to you, does that mean that the Prophet, he, he worshipped the believers? No. It does not mean he okay. worship the believer. Did you hear my friend, your 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 brother Muhammad Hijab saying that the Prophet he pray the same as Allah he pray? Is that mean the Prophet he worship the Muslim? So he admitted again that your Prophet he pray. What do you say about no, that? Your, Allah, your God, Allah. Like well, he is the one. Did you did you hear what he said? Did you hear what he said, my friend? Why are you? Did you did you did, 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 did you hear what he said? Did you hear what he said? Should I play yeah. for you again? Let me play for you again. No, 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 don't play. Why not? Muhammad is being... Uh, I, Hold on. I don't care shut what up, he says. No, no, you shut up. I don't care what he says. Okay. No, you care. You care. It's not up to you. Is that what you think the message of No. Does you think that? No. See? You don't want to hear it now. Prophet Muhammad is being commanded to salli ala. The same wording is used here. The same word is used here. The same word is used here. The same word used here. What is the same word used here? Salli ala. What does that mean? Listen carefully. The believers. Does that mean that he's worshiping the believers? Is that what you think the message of Islam? No. Does you think? <laughs> this is the same word he said here. The same word he said here. Chapter 9, verse 103. He is the one who quoted for us. And he said, this is the same word he's used here. How more we can make, make it clear. He himself getting him busted himself. Because he just compared between the prayer of Allah and the prayer of Muhammad. And he's saying clearly that both of them, they pray.
and he is the one who said the same word used here not a different word not a different sentence and this is showing us the hypocrisy this guy he's trying to defend Islam but the fact he get Islam busted a smart guy but <laughs> the issues. and the issues are funny Prophet Muhammad is being commanded to suddenly ala the same wording is used here the believers does that mean that he's worshiping the believers? Is that what you think the message of us? No, does you think that? No. <laughs> now, don't call me. Don't call me now. We want. We need to finish the topic. Just wait. I will. I will tell you, Abdul. When you can call me. Hold on. Hold your horses. We want to go. We want to go and continue with uh, 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 hijab, saying that Allah Prophet He never ordered people to force force anyone to convert to Islam. Isn't it chapter nine, verse twenty nine says? That you have to fight the Christians and the Jews until they pay the jizya and they will be subdued. So, what this is order is about. As long you are not fighting, you are fighting only those who fight you. Fight those who believe not in Allah, not those who are fighting you. Fight those who do what? What is the what is the problem? They don't believe in Allah, nor the last day, nor hold forbidden what has forbidden by the Prophet, by Allah and His Messenger. Nor acknowledge the religion of the truth, which is Islam, from the people of the book until the pages. And here we see Muhammad with the real face of a gang member. He wants you to pay him money, and then he will let you stay, stay alive. Muhammad suddenly he don't care if you are a believer in Allah or not, as long as you pay him money. You pay the jizya, we will let you live. And by the way, the word the 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 the. Uh, what the Italian mafia used to do forcing stores and people to pay them money for protection this is something learned from the Muslims when they occupy the land when they kick out the Muslims people they used to pay jizya atawa so the gangs they took over and we used to have a gang Muslim by Allah command Stripping the people from their money, forcing them to pay money in the, if they want to live. The gang they took over, and this is what the mafia practice after that. Don't call me Abdul. When I say call me, you can call me. Don't be stupid. Now let us continue. Fight those who don't believe in Allah. Do you know that Muhammad he says attack the Romans so we can get the blonde girls? This guy was saying to us that the Prophet of Allah was fighting those who they are fighting him. But all the Muslims agree that Muhammad he sent a letter to the king of the Romans saying to him, convert or else. Aslim, Taslam, which means if you don't convert to Islam, you are not safe. If we go to the hadith now and we search for Aslim, Taslam. We will find Muhammad saying that all over in the hadith aslim taslam you want to be safe say shahada huh and i will not kill you aslim taslam do you see it call you to islam if you became a muslim you will be safe do you see it safe from who <laughs> I call you to Islam. He is talking to who? He is talking to the Byzantine, the king of the Roman in, 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 in Jerusalem. Or in Basra. Do you see it? Who is the one who started the war? Muhammad, he went all the way there and he asked one of his men to take a message from him. And the message is the following which is nothing but insulting to anyone, any king. Convert, you will be safe. And yet the liar, he says, oh, everybody was fighting the prophet. When the fact is the opposite. And by the way, Muhammad, he failed. Muhammad, he wanted to Tabuk to attack the Roman, but he could not do it. And he came back and his tail was being between his legs. The one who did it later after him, this is after he died. Muhammad never was successful in that time. Same time. If we go in the Quran, 
you will see Muhammad he is willing to stop the war with anyone if they believe in Islam if they repent and establish this is chapter 9 verse number 11 if they repent and establish the prayer then they are your brother in Islam and don't kill them but if they leave Islam kill them what is their oath What is the oath they took? Muhammad in chapter 9, verse number 1, he says, Declaration of immunity from Allah and his messenger to those pagans with whom he have contracted peace. Who is the one who cleared his hand from the peace? Muhammad. same time we will find many many places where muhammad he confirmed that he is nothing but an evil man we muslims we never force anyone to convert to islam so what is the jizya how egypt became muslims how iraq how syria how jordan how morocco how even spain he went all the way to spain but let us see here what is the duty of a Muslim which this hypocrite tried to hide from us? The best of you, don't make me block you, you donkey. Don't make me block you. This is the last warning. Don't call until I say call me. Abu Huraira said, may Allah bless him say, interpretation of his ayat reported. This is the interpretation of what? Of the Quran. You are the best of people ever raised up for benefit of mankind. When you hear this, you will think Islam teaching benefit for mankind. What is the benefit of mankind? Chapter 3, verse 110. The best for mankind are those who bring them with a chain around their necks till they embrace Islam. That is Islam, my friend. This is not ISIS teaching. This is not Al-Qaeda teaching. This is not what they say to you in the corner, speaking corner in London. This is the truth in the front of you. This is the teaching of Muhammad. They will say to you, this is weak. Anything you get the Muslim busted with, they will say to you, it's weak. Let us get them busted. This is Sahih Bukhari. Do you see it? This is Sahih al-Bukhari, very authentic hadith. Muhammad, he told the Muslims, you have a duty to go and bring mankind as goats. Now, we don't want to stay too long. We want to go and finish this video with Muhammad Hijab saying why he will not debate me. Listen carefully why Muhammad Hijab don't want to debate me. How did Christianity spread? It spread because Constantine decided he had a dream. Yes, he had a dream. He saw the cross, all those things. He became Christian. This was around maybe the early fourth century, which means 300. Yes? This is very stupid of you to say because people they became Christians long before Constantine. This is how stupid you are. And the Quran confirmed that in chapter 36 about the three messengers who went to the city of Antioch. And people in India, they became a Christian before the people of Constantinia. This is how naive you are. And people in Ethiopia, they became a Christians before the Roman. This is how naive you are, and this is how stupid how you lie. Did the Roman occupy Ethiopia? Did the Roman occupy India? What about Christian in Persia? Lies after lies after lies. He want to say to you that Christianity is spread by the sword. You just said that the, the king himself, he saw a vision of Jesus, according to you. What is the sword? How you can force a sword in a king, you idiot? Let us laugh. And then he, and then there were lots of edicts that were put in place. Let's like go to where he speaks about. The first I'm not no, please, I'll come. I'm to just going to ask you a question. Yeah, Are I'll you going to call the Christian priest? Show? That's all I want to know. You're not. You're not going to call. Let me, let me ask, let me I'm ask. just going to ask. Just one yes, question. I'll you're not going to call. 
No, I'm just I'll asking. Answer. No, I'll, I'll answer the question. I will answer. On, 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 yes, I will answer. Okay. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. No problem. Okay. There's, what, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's someone called Christian Boy. Who's been challenging me. Christian Boy's been challenging me on that. Mr. Prince. So Christian Boy's been challenging me. I say no problem. I accept it. No, his name is Christian Boy. Christian Boy. No, no. If Christian Boy wants to actually come down. You renamed him. He's reborn. Christian Boy. Yeah. If Christian Boy wants to come, uh, I am accepting the challenge, ladies and gentlemen. I only debate people who show themselves come face to face. Yeah. So he has to come here. If he, if he confronts the date with me, it matches my schedule and his schedule, we'll make it happen here in Speaker School of London to bring all his cameras, to bring his friends, to bring everyone he wants to bring. No problem. I accept the challenge. Here in Speaker School of London, he's not allowed in the country for whatever reason. But tell me where he is, and then maybe we can arrange something, but that's not guaranteed. Here is something which is very difficult to organize. So I, I don't deal, I deal with things on YouTube, I things on Skype, and I'm sorry. People cut people off. I don't accept it. I want to see the person in front of me. Yes, that's all it is. Yes. And, and Christian Boy has a problem with Muraqabah. And little boy, he only has a problem with my health. He has a problem with his face. Oh, really? Yes. And if he has a problem... He doesn't show him on the I heard. I heard. I heard that he has a problem with Muraqabah. Of the woman who covered their face. But he's covering his whole body. And he's covering his even his, his identity. I've never seen him. Doesn't even show the eyes. Yes. But even Muraqabah, she can she's have physical appearance in front of you. You know that she exists. So we don't even know if he exists, if he's a human being. We don't even know he's a person. He he's a male or female. <laughs> so Christian boy, if he wants to come... Might be female. Could be, could be, could be anything. So if Christian boy wants to come, he can come to speak his... All right, let us get this guy busted. He said that the Christian friends, he have a problem with Munaqabad. This is a lie of you. I never have a problem with them. We laugh at them when they wear Niqab because this is how we knew that they are oppressed. And this is we prove from the Muslims that the oppression of Islam. Because Muslim women, they are especially those who live in the Middle East, they are forced into wear hijab, like country like Saudi Arabia. And the funny is, you are trying to make fun of me, saying that I like to wear niqab because I'm hiding myself. But as I know, your name is Muhammad Hijab, which means burqa. So you yourself, why your people, they called you Muhammad with the burqa? Unless this was an insult to you. You are saying to me, you are trying to insult me, supposedly saying, Muhammad, uh, 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 you call me Christian boy. No problem. Saying that I like to cover myself, not to show my ID. But your last name is Hijab. And guess what? He just said, maybe he does not exist. Maybe he's not a human. We never saw him. I have a surprise for you, Abdul. Isn't it your God, Allah, in the Quran, he says he always speak from behind hijab? Are you making fun of Allah again? Who is the donkey here? If you will not talk and you will not believe that somebody is exist, everybody heard you saying. Maybe he doesn't even exist. Why? Because he is he's hiding himself. He is behind hijab. Well, Allah, he says, he always speak from behind hijab. Do you see it? It is not fitting for a man that Allah should speak to him except by inspiration or from behind a veil. So you stupid as usual. You try to defeat the Christian prince, but the Christian prince always he spank you. You are making fun of Allah because he is behind veil, not me. Who said I am behind veil? Guys, do you see it? Does it say in the front of you that Allah, he never speak to anyone except from behind the veil? Muhammad Hijab was making fun of those who speak from behind the veil. And he said, and I will play the video again. That as long as he speaks from behind the veil, maybe he isn't even real. Maybe he doesn't exist. I will take your logic. <laughs> Here we go. Maybe Allah is not real. Maybe he doesn't exist. Because he never spoke except from behind the veil. Let me play the video again so people will not say I took his words out of context. Please listen carefully and let us laugh again.
I've never seen him. He doesn't finish with eyes, yes. But even in Rakaba, she can, she's have physical appearances in front of you. You know that she exists. So we don't even know if he exists, if he's a human being. We do not know if he exists. Why? Because the Munaqabat, you know, Munaqabat, read this, this is the game. He's covering his whole body and he's covering his, even his, his identity. I've never seen him. He doesn't with eyes. Yes. But even in Munaqabat, she can, she can have physical appearances in front of you. You know that she exists. So we don't even know if he exists, if he's a human being. We don't even know if he do not know if I am exist, if I am a human being. You are right, I am Allah. And you just approve that to us from the Quran. If somebody don't show himself and he is behind the veil, and we do not know if he exists or a human being, all what is missing to be Allah. Isn't it? This is what the Quran says about your God. Let me close some. Uh, do you see it? This is how stupid Muslims are when they try to put me down. I am the nightmare of Islam. Any word you say against me is going to be used against you. And look how silly he is. He's saying Christian boy just to insult me so we will not debate. And he is making excuse. He want to see my face. We know that this is an excuse because simply, you know what? I'm going to block you, you donkey. How many times I need to say to you? That's it. I blocked you. Get lost. What is the reason to say I will not debate him if he don't show his face? I debated thousands and thousands of people and nobody and everybody knows I don't show my face. What's the problem? So this is the only excuse to run away from me. As simple as that. People are interested not in your face, not in your ass. We saw you in the stage camping your beard like a monkey. Like a monkey. A guy who is in the stage. Hello? Hello, Christian Prince. How are you? I'm fine. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Yes. Okay. Is it true that Allah He never spoke to anyone except He speak from behind the veil? Allah speak by the revelation. Allah speak by sending messengers. Allah so, speak different don't, ways. Don't don't play games. The verse in the front of us, chapter forty-two, verse number fifty-two, says Allah never spoke to anyone except from what from behind the veil. Why you are lying? Read before speaks to him except by inspiration oh. or by the sending of a messenger. Why you are lying? Why? My friend, it says a veil. Why you are lying? Why you jumping the word veil? Does it say the word veil there? There are two, two ways. Why you choose one? The, oh, no problem. I choose the one because why you pick and because, choose because, why, why? because a Muslim saying this is how am, you work always. Hold on. So your God, he speaks from behind the veil. Yes or no? He speaks behind our way and he speaks by the messenger. No problem, the, no problem. This is not the okay, only way. Let, let, first of all, your God never spoke in any way because did your prophet receive inspiration? Yes. No, inspiration is God speaking to me directly. If an angel come to no, me, this is no, not inspiration. No, no. Go and ask anyone. Do Abdul, do stop being a, st no. stop being a stupid. Inspiration is God speaking to me. If an angel come no, to me, this is, is not God, inspiration. Is that is delivery. Your prophet never received inspiration. He received delivery from a pizza boy. His name is Jibril. Now answer me about the veil. Why Allah he never showed Allah himself, see, and why Allah he speak from behind the veil. Allah see in huwa illa wahyun yuha. He speak about his prophet. Okay, let me uh, let me ask you. In huwa illa wahyun yuha. Okay. Allah see in huwa illa wahyun okay, yuha. Okay, no, no. What wahyun yuha yuha mean? Yes, he, he he received revelation. Okay, so how then Jibril is the one is delivering the revelation if Muhammad receiving revelation? Where did Jibril get the information? But where? So did, Muhammad did, did, did not. Did, did so, speak so, from himself? so you agree that Muhammad never received inspiration from Allah directly. He received the revelation from Jibreel. It's about receiving revelation. Okay, this is in, what Allah He told Jibreel was inspiration or delivery. Did Allah it's inspire? Did, did Allah inspire Jibreel, or He told him words? He is Jibreel to inspire to to. The, to get the message to the prophet. Okay, let me let me make it more clear. When Allah He inspired Jibreel, is the Quran is the word of Jibreel then? Because if Allah inspire me and I write a book, that's a book written by me. It is my words, but by the inspiration of Allah. So are you saying to me that the Quran is the inspiration of Allah to Jibreel, and the Quran is the word of Jibreel? 
the Quran is not the word of Jibril because it's not who who say it. Okay, let me ask you then. Jibril is just so why the Quran just my friend, my friend, someone who I, take I, the I, message I, I, agree, I agree with you. The Quran is not the word of Jibril. I agree with you. But isn't it the Quran says that this is the book of Muhammad? This is the words of Muhammad. Show me the context. Show me the verse. Okay, Let's will, read it. No problem. I will show you. If I show you that, what you will do? If I show you that, it says that let's, this is. Let's read the context, and uh, I will I will make my argument. Okay, that's a good thing. Read with me, please. It says, is this, is this the Quran? This, this, is, this is a hadith. It's a hadith that says, no. What do you think? Yes, you agree with it? Yes, I agree with it. Is this hadith or a verse? It's a hadith. From Bukhari or from where? Uh, I think this is from the Eif uh, 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 Ibn Majah. Authentic or not? It's not authentic, no. What do you think? I didn't see it in the screen. Okay, I'm trying to find it in the screen, but if it's not authentic, you will refuse it. It's logical. Huh? You cannot accept anything. Okay, so this is obviously should not accept, right? Because there's no way that this is the... the uh, the, the prophet saying that this is the word of his own not the word of Allah right you want to accept it this is must be weak just show me and, and why, you are, why you are scared to say this is cannot be true say it I cannot judge something that I didn't you are you know you are waiting for me to show you so you will play games here we go this is Quran my friend this is no, not even, no this is not I even hadith judge. this we is not a hadith context. this is not a hadith the Quran confirmed that this is verily the word of an honorable messenger what is word the Quran show me the tafsir don't think show me you show me the tafsir Stop playing games. Does the Quran say oh. that this is verily the, the word of honor and messenger? What is the word which is the honor messenger? Quran. Don't you see? Read the verse with me. Read the verses before it and verses after it. Muhammad reciting Quran and then Allah, he says in the middle that what Muhammad he just said to you, this is verily the word of an honored messenger. Yes, yes, I, I have I have no problem. It is not the word. It's not, hold on. It is not the word of a poet. Little it ye, it is ye believe this is not the point. This is a this is the word of a messenger, which is Muhammad. No, the point the point is this: Allah Allah refuting the people who say this is not this. Uh, My friend, how he's refuting them, and he is saying this is the words of a man. No honor. The point is the honor. Say you are not honored. Okay, let, okay, let me let, let me let me this ask is you. An honored okay, let me ask you. Messenger, why you are okay. twisting when, the when, Mu when Muhammad he said that the sperm of the man coming from the backbone and the sperm of the woman is coming from the ribs of the women, is that a word from God or from man? I challenge you to show me this sperm in the verse. Why you are lying? Why? Okay. Why well, you add words in your in the in the, in no, the verse? No problem, no problem. I would challenge me. Why? Why? You, otherwise, okay, you did okay, this. Okay, okay. Challenge me to show. You see, you need to show the word the sperm. It says they are gushing fluid, sexual fluid. What is that? Gushing fluid doesn't mean uh, sperm. Okay, no problem. What is the Why gushing fluid? No problem. Words? No problem. I will go with your lies. What is the gushing fluid will make the baby born? The gushing fluid. Mm, what is that? What is the gushing fluid? Give me definition, please, Your Majesty. Show me where his sister. Why do I lie? My friend, what do you mean, show me where it says gushing fluid, sexual fluid? What's wrong with you? What is the gushing fluid? Is okay, let her hold on. If we go and read interpretation in any which scholar you like me to show you, if I show you a scholar saying that this is 
the sperm of the man what you will do a scholar doesn't understand the scientific oh, the a scholar he don't understand then get lost don't call me again a scholar he don't understand guys i mean what i can say the scholar he don't understand it doesn't matter who is you know what it doesn't matter what you say to them they are like monkeys you go right they go left they go left they go right and here we got you busted if this is a word of god there's no way a prophet he will say such a thing in different hadith muhammad he said the following that allah told him that the sperm of the man will stay inside the womb of the woman for 40 days this is Sahih Muslim. You can say to me, This is weak. This is just an inspiration from God. Muhammad is not speaking of his own, he's speaking of what God told him. Muhammad is not a doctor. Where Muhammad he got this from? In different hadith, Muhammad he said, Jibreel just now told me, Who is the donkey will believe? That a semen will stay in the womb for 40 50 for, for 40 or 50 days. You must be a certified donkey to believe in that. You have to be a certified mule. And by the way, as long as we are talking about the mules and donkeys and stupid, there's a guy, his name is Imam Tawhidi. I want to show you what Tawhidi he said about those Muslims. Specifically about a brother hijab. Don't forget to download this video immediately after we finish because it's not going to stay there for long. I'm telling you, with David Wood, very big deal. Uh, what I mean, I, 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 are you familiar with him and what are your thoughts on him if you are familiar? Muhammad Hijab, and this is the first time I speak about him. Uh, we have a saying in Iraq, it's amazing, and it applies to this guy 100%. Okay, which right. basically means his height is the height of a palm tree, his brain is the brain of a goat. Wow, <laughs> that basically means his height is the height of a palm tree, his brain is the brain of a goat. Wow, this is a Muslim speaking about Muhammad Hijab, his opinion. I have nothing to do with it. I believe that Muhammad Hijab, his brain is bigger than a goat, is even bigger than maybe a mule. I don't agree with this guy. <laughs> that is one hell of a say. I need to get hold of this book of Iraqi <laughs> sayings because uh, they're full of gems. Um, okay, could you ex ex expand on that or is that all you want to say on Muhammad Hijab? That's all I have to say. What else do I say? There's a guy who came at his uh, ex-boyfriend or something. I'm not sure if that's real or not. Sorry, ex-boyfriend. I don't know. Just are you on YouTube? Yeah. Now, Muhammad boyfriend, uh, hijab boyfriend. What this guy is talking about? There's a guy he claimed that he is the boyfriend of Muhammad hijab. Now we do not know really if this is a true or not. I cannot. I cannot claim anything. But the guy he made a video. Uh, Saying that he have like something with him. Let me see. And I apologize for playing the video of this guy because it's not really, but we have no choice. Muhammad Hijab, oh, and this is the first time I speak about him. Uh, we have a saying in Let me. Hi, Muhammad Hijab. Remember me? I heard that you've become religious now. Well, I'm sure you still like me. OMG, you've grown a beard too. Now you have something to remember me with. Mm. I really hope you would come with it again. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. So we go back here. 
look what uh, what uh, uh, Imam Tawhidi says about hijab again. Are you saying that, that that's his boyfriend? Hey, listen to him. Listen to him. Hi, Mohammed Hijab. Remember me? I heard that you've become religious now. Well, I'm sure you... I heard now you became religious, which means something that is... Okay. Still like me. But I don't know. And, and then he kisses his picture at the end. Look at this. He holds his picture up. Oh, you see no screen? Wow. Look, I don't know what's happening. Hold but on, these hold guys, on, guys, their Khalifa was homosexual. They could be homosexual. Go, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, you did not see the... the uh, you did not see the video. But I don't know. And, and then he kisses his picture at the end. Okay, you did not see the video, huh? Here we go. This is the video. Sorry for showing the video, actually. And this is the first time I speak about him. Uh, we something which I would normally Google okay, or YouTube. Hi, Mohammed Hijab. Remember me? I heard that you've become religious now. Well, I'm sure you still like me. OMG, you've grown a beard too. Now you have something to remember me with. Mm. I really hope you would come visit again. Always say inshallah, I love you, hijab. Mm. Mm. That's enough. <laughs> and he said the word inshallah too, which means he's a Muslim. You see, Muhammad Hijab is converting his boyfriend to Islam. He said, inshallah. I mean, what do you want more? Okay, let's see what uh, what Tawhidi will say more about uh, about uh, Hijab. Hey, and... uh, he, look, he's free if he's gay. Um, so, okay, uh, when you say he's. I'm not, I'm not accusing him of being gay. Uh, he, he holds his picture up. Wow. Look, I don't know what's happening, but these guys, their Khalifa was homosexual. They could be homosexual. I don't know. But he's a nobody. Anyway. So, <clears throat> I don't even know how to move on from that. It's a pretty big bombshell you just dropped there. Um, so, okay. When you say he's Khalifa... I'm not accusing him of being gay. Uh, he, look, he's free. If he's gay, and he's free to be gay. <laughs> just don't throw other people off buildings if you're gay. Uh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'm not sure how well, to wrap it. I sent you the link. I can't remember who sent it to me. Okay. I was uh, tagged. I was tagged on Twitter. Oh, I was I see. tagged on Twitter, and then I saw this. I'm like, what? And then I wrote. I read Muhammad Hijab, and I, I I opened it, and I saw this guy, and I said, Nah, this can't be real. And when I started kissing the picture, ah. Well, uh, I'm not okay, Muhammad Jab. If you're watching, I'm not saying you are gay or not gay. Uh, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> uh, Muhammad, he used to put eyeliner three times. Muhammad, he wear his wife clothes. By the way, Muhammad Hijab, he said that the Prophet never wear his wife clothes. He cover himself by her blanket. Do you want me to get him busted in front of your eyes and show you that how this guy did he lie in everything he say? Everything they say. Is a lie. Read with me. Do you see it? Sad Ibn etc. etc. reported from Aisha that Abu Bakr that etc. May Allah bless him. And he, while he was lying of Aisha bed wearing Aisha woolen shirt. Muhammad Hijab, he have many videos saying that the Prophet never wear his wife clothes. Never. And guess what? This hadith is sahih. Do you see it? This hadith, my friend, is sahih. And just to confirm, according to Muslim scholars, they confirm that the word murat is only the clothing of women. No men wear murt. Waqala ibn al athir. Waqala ibn al athir. La yakun al murtu illa daran. Waho min khazin akhdar. Wala yusamma al murtu murt illa al akhdar. Wala yilbis wala nisa. 
they will not call a mirror a mirror unless it is a green and it is only women wear it this is the name of the book sharh al-zarqani ala muwatta al-imam malik and this is the book and this is the cover what else Imam Tawheed, you want to say? He mentioned that the caliphate, he is a gay. Is it true? This is it true? No more power to you. Um, you gay like, like your caliph Omar. Oh, so, so, you, so you believe that the, the, the caliph Omar was a of homosexual? Course he was gay. Of course he was gay. Could you elaborate? This is a... Of course. Of course. He was absolutely addicted to anal, uh, anal sex. The father-in-law of Prophet Muhammad. Um, of course. My friend, if you want to see the list of gays in the family of Muhammad, get my books, Sex and Allah, very number one, and Sex of Allah and Allah, very number two. You will see all his families are gays. All of them, they are homo. And not only that, you will see the reference coming from Islamic books only. I'm not saying things from on my own. From Islamic books only, and this guy he's just confirming what is there. Ah, these are the famous uh, sayings of, of, of his caliph. Ah, I don't care less uh, about the secretary. Actually, even his uncle, the uncle of Muhammad, the Muslim, they say that he have an he have a, a like a, uh, his his anus does not relax unless you put a sperm of men on it. Carrying uh, nonsense. Our caliphs were gay. Am I Khalifa too? Would it Omar say that I'm the caliph over Tawhidi and the whole Muslim Ummah? Khalas, he's my caliph. He was gay. I'm speaking about my own caliph. Wow. Uh, okay. So I'm, I'm just taking this in. Um, and he was brave. I'm, I'm not. I'm not attacking. I'm not attacking Omar. He's not attacking. I'm not attacking Omar for being gay. I'm saying you are such a homophobe. Brave, <laughs> brave to be openly gay in a society. Good on him. I encourage him. Inshallah, all of the gay Muslims come out and say, uh, we follow Omar. I don't care. I, I, I don't care. Khamenei could be, there are sayings that... Khamenei, the head of the Shia, is a gay too. He is. Wow. I'm not sure. Maybe. I'm not sure. There are <laughs> rumors. I'm not sure. Not 100%. Uh, okay. This is uh, amazing. Uh, okay, so, okay. I'm going to... Okay, look, look. Many Sunnis right now are they're saying uh, it's going to go after. Look, this is a very cheap uh, way, like I said, very simple way of, of uh, discrediting me. I'm telling you he was gay. You say he's not. Okay, khalas, I have my evidences. You have your evidence. Goodbye, goodbye. It's as simple as that. So, I mean, I mean, how do you evidence for him being gay? I mean, is there like a... Yeah, no, real, real, real evidence. I can, I can uh, send it to you. Not a joke. Seriously, like uh, yes. what, in a hadith or something? Yes, in in in, uh, in a book, a very famous book called Al Aqd Al Farid. Al Aqd Al Farid. So by Al Andalusi, write it down. Al Aqd Al Farid by Al Andalusi. Is it, it, oh wow? Okay, this is the first. Yeah. I, I, there, there, Sunni, Sunni t scholar. He says it. I don't. I'm only quoting. Abdul Farid. I'll send it to you if you like later on. And yeah. you know, he's not a real Muslim. He's a... all right. That's enough for for today, guys. I hope you you did enjoy and we learn and we answer them. How stupid those Abdul want to try to answer. Please don't forget to download the video immediately after we finish. It's going to take some time before uh, for how long we are here. If it's more than two hours, I think it's more than two hours already. So it's going to take maybe 15 minutes before it's going to be all of it ready to download. So just wait for 15, 20 minutes and the video will be there. Download it all, share it around, cut it pieces, let everybody laugh. Muslims cannot debate me because I am the same as Allah. I speak from behind the veil. Who want to make fun of a Christian prince who speak from behind the veil? You want to make fun of Christian Prince and you say maybe he doesn't exist and even he says maybe he is not a human you just admitted that I am your Allah because me and Allah we share one thing as you said the one who speak from behind the veil there's no proof he exists maybe he is not real maybe he is not a human maybe he does not exist
everybody heard your words and let the world laugh at you. And the funny that Muhammad Hijab himself, his last name is Hijab, which means a veil. <laughs> Look like your people, they insulted you, they call you a woman when you were in Egypt, so they call you Hijab. Otherwise, why a man would be called Muhammad Burqa? Unless he was acting like a woman. You tell me. My last name is not Christian Prince Burqa. This is your last name. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And Ante, we see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is funny. And we are here to laugh at it and expose it. Thank you. Again, don't forget to download the video. Share it around before they try to take it down. And they will do, do their best to take it down. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.